Guys, welcome to another episode of the Looney Tunes and Jump Up Hunt. <laughs> That's how it was uh, like. If you put that in, like you wouldn't fast tell the motion, difference. You, can't you, you the wouldn't difference. tell the difference. You can't tell the bloody difference, mate. Next week might be the Benny Hill edition. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm going to get that ready now. Yeah. <laughs> and then just running around. It's going to be the, like uh, that the Undertaker's bell toll. Yeah. Oh, dead. Wow. <laughs> Gone. Far out. How, how many bananas can we give away this week? I think it could be a record. It this could be a record. record. There is Thanks. a record. We're running out. We're running out, man. It's a big record. <laughs> I will, we'll show. Well, first of all, <laughs> well, everyone, welcome. Rocco, Marcello, Paul, yeah. we're Ciao. here. We, <laughs> we, we front up every week. We front up ready to go. We're raring. <laughs> I don't know Chopping how, at the how hard it is. I mean, you got something to do, you front up. That's isn't right. It? Yeah, well, enough said. <laughs> anyway, we'd like to thank, first of all, let's get this quickly, not out of the way. Yeah. No. It needs to be Very made mention of at the but forefront. It has to be mentioned. First yeah. of all, there's the Melbourne... Melbourne Coffee Roasting Co. Yeah. Promo code, Carlton15. Make sure you get their coffee. That's how... Get that's all coffee. our Brandon coffees. Brandon Bevilacqua. Good Carlton, man. The other one is... Uh, Marino Bros. Uh, Fresh fruit and vegetables. Mate, I was decking bananas hey. last night. Decking them. Mate, drawing around, man. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. And we got Hello, a video. Really? Didn't yeah. you get a video? Yeah, I got yeah. a video in the week. I was on my way to work. Show, let's have a look at the video. And then, yeah. Let's have a look at the video. Have a look. And video? Uh, Where? What video? Oh, the Marino bros. The oh, Marino they're driving bros, around man. everywhere. They're driving they? around. Fuck. They're crazy. like everywhere, man. They're like... They're, anyway, they're, they're, there it is. When you're on your way to work. Nah. See me a new spot. spot. What did I say? A Marino Bros. See, they're always delivery. Always delivering. Delivery. Always yeah, delivering. Right. See? <laughs> see? Order. Snub. Must have snub. delivery in all yeah, suburbs. Yeah. $60. $60. Free delivery. Yeah, nah. 12 nah, a.m. Sure delivery cut right. off the next day. Delivery. Fucking insane. It's everywhere, man. Fantastic. Man, they're the best. And they're great through the COVID as well. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Exactly. Let's get some the most important thing here. We've already lit the candle as well. We lit the candle, yeah. This is an amorta, mate. This is like a a luto. So, let's just... uh, This is the wake. 1995. That's how we know if people are watching the show. And if you haven't, if you don't know... Uh, you know, you Bucky know Pete. how you going? Yes, yeah. and I, another another week, another free coffees, another Argento tablet. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take. Look, we're gonna take. Where are they? Look at this man. They're just flat out, man. The same, mate. Yeah, free coffee, some biscuits. Perfect. Thank you very much. I reckon they're going to start spiking our drinks with the Somac. Oh, the Somac. <laughs> oh, that was hey, look at that. We like that, mate. Oh. Hey, this is reliability, Ow. mate. This is reliability, yeah. Straight away, Mitagena. Yeah, straight in. Mate, this has been getting a work out, this Panther piss. Oh, yeah. The Panther piss, mate. He's gonna run out. He's running dry. He's running on no, empty. Dry, I don't man. think. You know what he looks like now. Right. I've been. S- I reckon Andrew Russell's told you to go get. I'm gonna say he's, this he's lightly, sh- but I've been sucking him that dry now. He's like this, <laughs> like this skinny thing in the garage. It's there. a shrunken flea. Yeah. <laughs> a shrunken oh, hair. Here we go. 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 Apple crumble. Get, get ready, for it. Let's get ready for this. And. One of our favourite biscuits, man. Shortbread. Now, what do you got here? What have you got? What are these little ones as well? You've got, we've these got the, are, um, 
I've got the shortbread creams. Ah, they're the best, man. These are fantastic. Now, yeah. what are these ones? These, these little are ones, coconut yeah. rollies. Like know. wafer sticks. Wafer rollies. Sticks. <laughs> yeah, grouse. Not bad. Yeah. Impressive. Nice. Yeah. Actually, I think people get a kick of watching us kick out of watching us eat. I know yeah. Pommy does. There's like those mukbang videos. No, they're mukbang. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we should well, do a, a jump. A big one. We should do a jump and punch mukbang, but an Italian do, version. Yeah. It's a full banquet of Italian food. <laughs> we you know what we do? We're gonna smoke up some food and that. Yeah, we'll, well, I we'll said smoke up, up we'll some ganja. <laughs> I love it. Ma smokes oh, ganja or ganja, whatever it is. Ganja, like. ganja. <laughs> All right. Roached. Hey, we've reached. It's a big number, this one. 18. Mm. Not so much for the past, for the future. The 18's a big number, but... And the now, just quietly. <laughs> first of all, we've got Ern O'Regan. Right. And check him out. He's, having joints. He must be having a gunja. That's, that's a gunja, I'm mate. teleported. I'm teleported. Surely, he's not da- Surely that's just a photo. That's just like got a bit of why white. You to, why you have to ruin it? <laughs> <laughs> He's having a smoke, mate. That's the way they did, did things those days, man. You have a bit of a smoke and then you go out and you kick some goals, mate. Unlike... Imagine if you had a smoke now. Yeah. He'd be done. Well, up until mate, the 80s, done. like, well, about Fraser 90s. Fraser Brown was out. Uh, he was, actually, next 95. week. Deck and pack next done. week, what we'll do is we'll put up some photos. because I've, I've seen heaps of people that... Half time, Half having time. a smoke. Having and a that. drag, yeah. yeah sick, <laughs> having a right. cheeky one, a little cheek drag. So he played one game. He came from Port Adelaide. Uh, they reckon in the in the Adelaide advertiser, they wrote, every inch a footballer, plenty of dash, clean and kicks the ball really well, should play regular football. How many games did he play? One game. <laughs> 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 So that was him. The next one is, the next one is, this bloke here, right, first of all, is our record holder. Arthur Sanger. Now, let's have a look at this video. So Arthur Sanger played from 38 to 47, 117 games, one goal, premiership in 1945. How many people there are? Look at this. So this is the 1945 Bloodbath. Yes, Yes. fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This is a great history lesson here. Look at the banners. Yeah, it's fantastic, man. Brilliant. This is unbelievable. Yeah, this is Look at the footage. It's unreal. It's really good footage. And apparently this one here. Oh, wowee. Um... A, oh, a chisler. Chisler. Oh, the wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look Whoa. at the way, mate. They've got some skill, man. That's Everyone records mate. from 1945, you know, they couldn't play. But I'm telling you, there's some skill. Look, look at him. Oh. Look at him. Yeah. 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 Oh, the senoras, mate. They're going the crazy. Senora, mate. Look at that. <laughs> they would have been kicked out. Oh, mate. Look at this. Oh, they, they would have got the gone. letter. Yeah, correct. They would have got the letter. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's incredible footage, isn't it? Was this against South Melbourne? South Melbourne, yeah. The Blacks. The bloods. <laughs> the bloods. I'll tell you something about this bloke. Uh, he also played district cricket and got a hat trick. He played district cricket and got a hat trick. A hat trick. And he also got a hole in one. Mate, it's big Mate, this bloke. So all codes. Yeah, yeah. And another thing, one other person played in this game. Who? No, sorry. Uh, sorry. Then he got appointed as coach as the under-19 okay. that they won the premiership. Yep. And who played in that game? Our old president, Richard Pratt. Oh, ah, well, yes, under-19s. he did play under-19s for the club. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, he that's did, right. and that's and his he connection he played in that, and he, Arthur Sanger was the coach. Right. The next right. one I'm going to show you is, is some picks here. It's a player called the captain, James Cook. James Cook. He played 94 to 95. That's what are those old yeah, ones, yeah. by the way. The yeah, Carlton yeah, United Breweries. That's yeah. tech. CV, if yeah. anybody has one, let me know. I'll buy it off you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's top. Look at him. Look at him. Smug looking bloke. <laughs> 25 games, 35 goals. He was number two in the 90 draft, right? His father wrote a letter to the AFL clubs saying that he would only play for Carlton and Melbourne. Wow. And he got picked up by Carlton. And he ended up playing 18 games for 25 goals. 95, he was never going to find his way in. With Sticks, Spalding, Pierce, Clappe, yeah, he was never going to... So then he got traded to Footscray. He played another 49 games there. And then he got traded to Melbourne for another three games. And Parkins once stated that he, in the coaching 
in the coaching um, ranks, ra range, right. like the ratings, the ratings, ratings, ratings yeah. sorry. from one to a hundred, how coachable was he? He gave him a two. Wow. <laughs> That's how bad he was. Jeez. So he had a bit of attitude, but he, he wasn't a bad right. player. He wasn't a bad player. Yeah, yeah. Probably wow. like our players of today. Yeah. yeah. Good God. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Most of ours would be two. Yeah. If that. If on the, ra on the ranking. Scored and ran. So you rated it a 10. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. rate the food above a two. Yeah. <laughs> In it. denial. There's a couple there, man. Anyway, the next one. Hey, this is one of your favourites. Oh, you tell me. Oh, Paul Bauer. Paul Bauer. Oh! <laughs> Let's have a look at this, mate. He kicked this goal. Right? Yeah, he's a Chelsea supporter as well. Is he? He supports Chelsea. Yeah. I just love the tribal tattoo. The tribal tattoo. Such like early 2000s. Oh, Everyone had a yeah, tribal yeah, tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I much... actually think this actually means because I think I actually think <laughs> look at he's him, look at him. Oh, he's going bro. <laughs> look at that. What a Yo! goal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at he, he wasn't a bad play. 70 games. He kicked five goals. He was number 20 in the O. Five draft. Wow, he was actually that high up. Yeah. Oh my god. And he comes seventh in the best and fairest in A nine. So yeah, look, he played all right and um, <laughs> played in the two elimination finals, nine, ten, and nine he and did. ten. Yeah, yep, yeah. So that's it. Lost both. The other one is is one of our favourites, right? I think. Yeah. Well, um, Justin Murphy was a very, very uh, special an epic moment. moment as well. So we can have a look at his like, photo. This is, this is just this is like That's the iconic. iconic photo. Uh, it, it, is, iconic. It, it is. It's iconic. It's iconic. It's a brilliant photo. This is the picture of him as the siren goes in the '99. Probably one of our well, it is one of our greatest wins outside it of is grand out of final. a grand final. We don't yeah. celebrate incredible nah. grand final wins, nah. but uh, this was fantastic. Man, incredible. He played 96 to 0, 0 The thing is, he played 115 games, only one behind. The record, which was a hundred, so two games behind the record, which was one hundred seventeen for that number. Right. Oh, All right. right. Yeah. One hundred and five goals. He ended up playing one hundred and eighty-five. He started with the Tigers, drafted at number three. Remember, All right? Then he played the season. Uh, yeah, and then he got traded to Carlton, right? In ninety-six. Then he went to the Cats in 0 0 and then back to Carlton in 0 2. Correct. And, and then, then ended up at Essendon. And then yeah. ended up at Essendon. Yeah. And then the interesting fact is he, in 06, played for Heidelberg and played in four consecutive flags. Wow. Did they win them all? Right. Hey? Did they win them they all? won them yeah. all, wow. four consecutive flags. And in 07 and in 09, the Heidelberg Tigers went undefeated. Wow. There you go. The Justin Murphy influence. Yeah, yeah the Justin Murphy. Yeah. So there you go, mate. So, so the other one we're going to show. Nice. No, well, nat naturalmente, mate. Naturally, it's. We've got to show it. Oh, like, he's, yeah. he's 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 only played 50 odd games. Well, he's going to he play. Will be, well, touch he will be our greatest. He's Even if he stops now, yeah. he'll be our greatest <laughs> number 18, mate. Yeah, and this yeah. is the great Sam Walsh. Now, Let's just have a look couple of these guys. I yeah, love them, man. Just, oh, we'll we'll oh, go yeah, try and get yeah. into some sort of happy oh, mood. Look at, because look at, look at the snap. Oh, oh, oh my oh, golly. Oh, oh. It was one of the last games we went to as well. What a night yeah, this was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, boy. This goal here. That was great. But this goal here. Oh, this is the fuck yeah. yeah. The fuck yeah. This is where... Well, everyone get onto Blue Abroad side, Ooh. mate. You got the fuck yeah t shirt. Yeah, the fuck yeah t shirts. Yeah. Terry will put that in. I love when he just gives one of those yeah. ones. This is, this is my uh, Everyone yeah. stay tuned, but I'm going to show something about Terry later with the fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, this is not, yeah, not great, but anyway. And what Sam got? Walsh is now called the Terminator. I love it, the man. Terminator. I can't stop it. He Even doesn't stop. Even in that game, we'll talk about it. Later, we'll indestructible he is until he Correct. just did his ankle against the yeah. Gold Coast Suns. But and I blame, it's nothing I too blame much. Carlton for that. Big, big, anyway, let's get into that. Hey, the last one is, we get, we're just going to mention uh, during the week, yes. someone passed yes. away, yes. Yes. Graham yeah. Whitnell. Graham so yep. let's have a look at this, yeah. man. So Graham Whitnell, 74 to 81, 66 games, 20 goals. Um, in 73, he debuted for Carlton, and then in 74, uh, had his best first, it was, he was in 74, was the best first year player. Oh, right. So yeah. he, he could play. In 77, he's... had his best year not missing a game, but then in 78, he didn't get along with the captain coach. Who was Jezza. Alex Jezzelenko. Jezzelenko. Yeah. Yeah. Jezza. Yeah. 
and only played four games, asked for a transfer and was refused. Oh, really? Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Returned back to Maryborough, and then he returned back to Carlton in 80, right, to play a further 11 games. And then 16 years later, we know that Lance Whitnell, his son, played for Carlton, 200 games captain, best and fairest. His brother, Shane, also played 40 games for the reserves. Reserves, So, as you can see, man, he was was a a pretty good player. He was a pretty good player. He only played 66 games. Family affair with the Blues. His son was a Lance was a gun. Lance was a good player. He was underrated. Look at him go, go look at him go. So leading, when he came leading, back, he wore the number 40, uh, 30, 30 yeah. but when he came back, he changed to the number 7. Or he for wore, the last. Did he wear the number 7 or wore, yeah. and then wore the number 30? Is that right? Or no, the other 30 way and then... No, no, sorry. 7, seven and then 30. 7 and 30, 30 yeah. of course, yeah. because then Jono was playing. Yeah, correct. No correct. one's taken Dominator. 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 No yeah. one's taken 7 Dominator. off the Dominator. Yeah, yeah, so you can see him here, man. Like, the bloke was a good, honest player, man. But that's all we asked for, isn't it? Man, if we had a few more right of them, the family, you know, he, he tried too hard though. I thought. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. So, no, listen, that can happen. You can try too hard, and then you it end up keep... not trying. <laughs> yeah. When you, look at, you know, you look at these family bonds with the club and all that, and yeah. it's 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 what it's what makes the footy yeah. club. Hundred percent. This sort of stuff, yeah. you know, like the history and the, and the family yeah. and, and the family connections and love yeah. for the club. Like, you know, I know Lance was Lance, Lance was, you know, he was one of my favourite footballer yeah, back in the awesome. day. So. And at the time, man, I'm telling you, he was a smart footballer. He was a smart and he was yeah. a good footballer. 200 games, so, I remember, with the bloke. So, there Graham, was, so, we salute you. Mate. Yeah, we do. So, uh, rest in peace. Rest, rest in, in peace. peace, yeah. So, we do remember the greats, yep. yeah. So, and that's it. So, there's Graham and there you go, mate. There the you 18s. go. There you go. There was the 18. Uh, so, now we're going to get to, hey, listen. Do we have a game? We've got a game. We're going to do, uh, there will be on the couch. Yep. That's it. <laughs> um, but before we do it, yes, it's called therapy on the couch. Now we're looking at a new couch. We are looking. We are it. looking for a new couch. Yeah, we actually. are looking for a new couch. So yeah. we went down during yeah. the week, yeah, we're, and we went to see this bloke here. Yeah. So everyone got the big deals on. Bramsay, Bramsay, where in Bramsay can footstep Franco Cozzo. Have the pleasure to present to you Il Modernissimo Bedroom Suites, Dining Room, and Wonderful Land. Why don't you come for yourself and have a look at this magnifico Il Modernissimo, only champion from Franco Cozzo. Bye from Franco Cozzo. Where they put them in the bedheads and everything like that? Yeah, they were bought. That's incredible. The best bit about that is. Brunswick, yeah, Brunswick, and this guy, and what's guy? Oh, I can't even. That's so. That's where we're gonna get our couch. From. Couch, yeah, the from couch uh, from? from Franco Cozzo. Franco Cozzo. He's just one letter away from Franco Cozzo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he can sponsor that segment. We can do that. I would like Franco Cozzo hey, sponsoring hey, Mackey Cozzo. Well, I think he's some. I think he's only got one store left. Brunswick. No, no, no. Footscray. No, Footscray. Footscray. Got the one in Brunswick's no. still no, open. Brunswick. Yes, Brunswick's it is. gone. No, is it? it's there. It's on the corner there. It's on the corner, bro. Mate, I'm telling I'm you, it's still, still there. there. I it's saw it the there. other day, yeah. When I was it's going still there. Oh, yeah. It's still I thought there. it was gone. So he's got both. Yeah. I know the sun's running it now from jail. It's obviously, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's obviously a money laundering. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. Well, hey, on, if we want a sponsorship from him, we can't be saying that. Hey, listen, anyone that's got eyebrows that big, right, you don't trust. Sorry, Terry. Eyebrows, <laughs> eyebrows, or brow? eyebrow. Sorry, eyebrow. Yeah, nah, he's a good, good man, good man, good man. I don't even know. Is he? Is he alive? Yeah, he, oh, still alive. I don't Dude, know. Franco. Yeah, yeah. I reckon he would be. Yeah, he's still kicking. He was like ninety there. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's still kicking. They did right. some special feature on him. Maybe last they're going to really? freeze him. Oh, they're going to freeze him like I Walt like Disney. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> anyway. And you go into it, there was a uh, game, no scores, stuff you. Disgr- <laughs> I'm telling you, that was a disgrace, man. That could be one of the worst games we've seen. And what we're going to do is we're going to go. I always say that as well. Oh, it's I just, you know what? You think it can't get worse? You know what? I'll tell you what's like. Every time we have, and I said this a couple of weeks ago, when we have our worst performance of the year, it's usurped by the next worst performance yeah, of the year. That, it, like every, like. First, it was the Collingwood game. Do, it was yeah. the Collingwood game in round two. Then it was the West Coast game. The West yeah. Coast. Was the West bad. Coast game. <laughs> then it was the well, yeah, yeah, that was pretty yeah. bad. Then it turned into the uh, North North game, 
and now it's become the Gold Coast yeah. game. So the they, they're topping the themselves every yeah, time. You can't. Well, at least, and they have bad wins. At as least well. they're consistent. No, no, and at least they they <laughs> they're continually like, bad, either winning or losing. It's well, quite they're, remarkable. They're achieving their goals. Yeah. They're just going to get the worst, you know. Like, and there's still two games to go. So let's get next, ready, mate. Next well, week could be like. Well, now my hair's well, safe. Because they can't square the oh, legend. Exactly. Square the legend. Unlucky mad dogs. <laughs> yeah, bad luck to the mid dog. All right, let's go straight into the journal. All right. Oh, God, this is... This, God. this is awesome, this one. This how, how, is this bad or is this just like depressive state? Like no, no anger? I don't know though. what to expect from this. Well, there's a little bit of anger. Uh, nah. Were you watching it angry? No, actually I wasn't. I, I, I wasn't either. I Me wasn't either. angry. I've lost anger. I, I banged but the like, table twice. Just like and certain that was parts where you just go. Uh, like, I just go. Oh, right. come on. Yeah, this is a good one. Right? Yeah. Well, let's get. Into uh, it. <laughs> can't let's wait go. for an amazing game of footy today. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Walsh starting off half back? Uh, Why? Uh, what? <laughs> oh my God, Borat. Has missed two free targets. <laughs> I love it, Bora. <laughs> yes, Williamson. Williamson is running Bora. into the fifty. He had two open targets. Twenty meter kick. Fuck yeah, it out. Really enthralling opening few minutes here. Zero zero here. Must be watching football, or better known as in Australia, soccer. Yeah. First goal is slotted, and it comes through the former Tiger Alice. Oh, yeah. Tuk tuk mm. with a fast early start. Good to see no one on him. Can't get an, can't get control of this footy. Halfway through the quarter, and I'd rather use paint thinner for eye drops and watch this shit. <laughs> oh, Charlie, taking us nearly eleven minutes of game time to kick a goal. Bend it like Charlie, baby. Actually, I rode. That, I yeah. rode that goal. Yeah, I was watching it. Why doing no work? It's a banana oh. bender. That was grouse. It started off there early with the bananas. Banana. That was a banana bender. The and same rest. Plenty more coming. Yeah. The same recipe of disaster going inside for Ford 50. Bob and Hope. Awful. Tell the poor. A poor kick from Lacocious and Winnie the Pooh cuts it off. Yes. Winnie squirts another tablespoon of honey all over Teague. 13 to 9. Cripps, nice little pass to Winnie. Yeah. Honey pot has plenty in it. Bit more for the match committee to ponder about. Nice. 20 to 10 at quarter time. Unbelievable leading. I know. It actually took us 11 minutes of in game time to kick a fucking goal. Yeah. Against the yeah, Gold Coast. Against the Gold Coast, who <laughs> lost by 90. Anyway. Quarter two. Ah, Silk. Drop mark. Yeah. That's the press. Two kicks and they're past the press. And then Jones with the awesome spoil. Yeah, that, that was, was awesome. Fantastic. That, that happened awesome. twice that game from, from I Jones have to and say, yeah. Wiedering. That's yeah. good. Yeah, and Wiedering did it Correct. too. They did it twice. Yeah. That was because he could have easily infringed there. And he Max it. King misses his set shot 20 to 11. Tuk, tuk, tuk. Goal, goal, goal. 20 to 17. <laughs> <laughs> High fend up. Shut up, Collins, you mutt. Sausage. 21 to 18. Who is this prick? Does he have bird shit in his hair? Oh. Who? He was oh. number 44. I don't know who it was. I can't remember what his Me name either. was. Me yeah, 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 Kraken yeah. misses to the right. Oh my fucking God. That is disgusting defending by Nunes. Easy goal to Townsend. Oh, oh from the bloody <laughs> rock contest. <laughs> Io porco di Dio. My, the, they look, ran straight through you, the gate. Like the, throw, like the throne was shallow. But still, you've got to be able to defend right in front of the goal. There was three of them. Or two, whatever you we want got, to say. We showed, Jacob, we showed that in the Looney Tunes. Jacob Townsend. Mm. The big dope, TDK run down. He's got yeah. a new nickname coming for him, the big dope. But wait a sec, just on that. It's you reckon that was... Bad. I think it was a kick or bad handball to him. Yeah, no, nah, but he got he got caught, did he? It was a bad uh, handball. It was a bad yeah. handball to him. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Great kick, Winks, to the coffin. Bet cements his contract for next year. The extraction by the Terminator. The big dope to the sausage and goals. 34 oh. to 25. That was from the middle. Great goal, that. Probably the best passage of play all Great goal. Hunger and yeah. then yeah. wanted it. Yeah, he yeah. drops the mark. He keeps going. Yeah. No, that was a good goal, man. Sauce ducked. Oh, that's yes. a nice bum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a wog bum, that one. Yeah. Yeah. The, ol the olive is Yeah, the olive skin. <laughs> the olive skin. Yeah. He probably gets plenty of coconut oil in the yeah, yeah, summer yeah, of that. <laughs> Winks. Uh, Misses to the near side. Why did he run out? I don't know. Yeah. 
It, what was that? I feel like that's something it. that is implemented into his game. And I I'm think, well, you that. know, he almost plays on whenever he can. Yeah. So I think it was just instinctively he went it and then he just stuffed it up, yeah. Bang! Kennedy and Newman. Broken nose, probably not, but... Yeah. Yeah, 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 blood. Yeah, the claret. <laughs> Here he is, the bird shit hair, missus. <laughs> <laughs> bird shit hair. Yeah, I need to get some shit. funny out of this game. He had a shaved skull and then he had like, <laughs> he had the <laughs> mullet at the back and it was all dyed and yeah, whatever. I mean, hasn't he got mates? Like, doesn't his mates go to him, listen? Probably not. Stop. Quarter three, finally, gets a free kick, Mackay. Mackay. From Holding. Finally, yeah. he got whacked. He was getting absolutely doused. Anyway, yeah. yeah. anyway I'll, I'll the Ford half, Ford half press again broken. <laughs> the oh. bird shit goals, 35-32. to 32. Easy it was. What a frustrating game this is. Mackay with a long kick to Silk with the bodywork. Silk yeah, that goals, was, that 41 was to 32. It was a great bit of play, that. Did yeah. you see him? He was running into yes. the open goal, yeah. and he wasn't even looking. He's like, fucking give it to me. That was good. Yeah. That was good. I like that. Great. Just great. a whole lot of shit right now. Ah, Silk, you've got to punch it and play the percentages. It was yeah. third man up, and he kind of hesitated. Yeah. Then he went, and he went for the mark. Just punch yeah. it. Yeah, Just punch it, it, son. That's horrible defensive. Uh, that's horrible defensive awareness by St. Paddy. I forgot which one that yeah. is. Cause oh, it was... yeah, it was the chip inside. Yeah. The kick inside. They yeah, had the he easy did, kick inside. Yeah, and they, yeah, he didn't pick up his man. Yeah. Fiorini yeah, goals. Uh, goals of Salami, 42 to 44. And the Gold Coast go up. Ah, uh, fucking this prick. <laughs> Gibberish misses. Oh, easy snappy oh, fraud. Oh, man. How do, you, how do you miss that, bro? You can't miss that. Mate, you it's practice like that every week in training. Bro. It's on the oh, left could have kicked that. No, it was be- he could have. But you know he's missed those all year. No, he's He's terrible. missed them all year. Yeah. Well, yep. he did say, didn't he? Wait well, up, we'll get to that. Ah, we'll get, we'll to, get, that. get to that. Now we'll get to that. The Kraken with a strong mark. Oh, the big dope. TDK oh. dropped again. From the kick in, easy options, far out. That's my pet hate. Yeah. That's my pet hate. Winnie the Pooh. We just misses him. 44. Hit the each post. Two. Hit yeah. the post. Yeah. Yeah. Tuk, 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 tuk. Still no one on him. <laughs> Reto Smith. Zach Smith. <laughs> <laughs> 50 to 44. Yeah, that's it. Gold Coast. <laughs> that's it. Made him look like Justin Madden. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. Oh. Apple crumble time. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Swallow. <laughs> Yo! Oh. 51 to 44. Bad kick, I'll tell you that. Quarter four. Wow, poor kick sauce. Reto Winnie the Pooh. Hits the post. Oh. Fuck it out. Oh, poor kicking Gold Coast. Hey, Kono, here we go. He gets his goal and it's he 51 it. each he of two. He's the finger too, man. man oh, well, they were, like, well, they even up the up. score now, yeah. This, and then I just wrote, where's Dow? Where's Betts? Where's O'Brien? I thought he didn't play Where's Grips? I thought Dow wasn't playing. I don't know. I didn't see him. This is an awful quarter. Yep, here we go. Yeah. Townsend, the Premiership player. The Vince Carters are coming out. It's over. It's over. It's yeah. over. I put. I, I stopped at 63 to 51, yeah, and that's it. Yeah. The Vince Carters, baby, it's over. Hashtag Clark yeah, that was over. As soon as they kicked yeah. that second yeah. goal, no, that, that was, was it. And I didn't even go from there. There was now, like another six, seven minutes. Might I just make a mention, and I did make mention of this on the fan cams, how ironic was it that the final goal of the game oh. and the final dagger in our season was a banana. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> that You're right, Steve. It was that's a like big a banana. banana. <laughs> that's the big banana. How, mate, what an observation. It, it, how, how, how funny is that? That is, is so Is that just true. like... I mean, how, how good? And everyone <laughs> saw that. That was true. Mate, right? was what a running. goal as well, just yeah, quietly. Yeah. But you know... It was a pal. Pal, pal yeah, pal. Fuck, then we put him on the map uh, yesterday. The, the only thing I noticed... The only thing I noticed when he kicked that goal was Walsh was on the ground. That's what I Oh, noticed. wow. I'm going to turn into a doctor here for a second. There you go. There oh, you no, go. No. Oh, Let's okay. do it. Let's yeah. do it. So when Walsh yeah. got his foot caught under Rao's leg, yeah. I was thinking hopefully this isn't the syndesmosis injury. Now, what is the syndesmosis the syndes- injury? Because this is the new buzzword yes. in the AFL yes. this year. I can't even Well, pronounce. it's been for two years. Try it. What is it? Syndesmosis. Syndesmosis. Yeah, perfect. There you go. go. So it's a high ankle sprain. They just put a buzzword on it. So this injury often occurs in a tackle where a player falls across another player's leg. 
like you see with Raoul on Walsh. Yeah. So yeah. usually you, it's always that type of they're falling over on them yeah. and the foot's planted. Yeah. And they and come right, right over, over rolled across. over. Yeah. yeah. So um, so what is it? The the fibrous joint between the tibia and the fibula, held together by a ligament, is caused to split apart. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So right. Is that? Is that what they're saying it is? Well, that's that's what it is. That's the syndesmosis injury. That is the syndesmosis injury. Okay. I don't know if it is or it yeah. isn't. Oh, but that's we'll, what it is. We'll yeah, know yeah. one probably. Well, we'll know. We'll know on Tuesday we'll night before this comes out because yep. that's when the injury report comes out. Yep. Yeah, so you won't know because we're not going to tell you anything. But let's hope it's not. And let's hope um, Harry's shoulder, mate, he'll be in his sling at the BNF. Because he didn't fall hard on that. No, nah, it no. just... <laughs> It just went. It just he got must have got just, it like right in the sweet him, spot. They're just getting him through, man. Yeah. And um, look, at the end of the day, stuff to Coleman. Sorry, <laughs> black a rat. Man, he, if he's no good, man, just that's he just. Put him I still think he'll anyway. win it. He'll win it. Yeah, there's only two games left. Yeah. yeah, but just in case, you know, like let's not do what we yeah. do and worry about individual honours. Yeah. 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 No. And this is what we do, you know. They'll probably bring him out there in a sling, trying to get. Because <laughs> that's that last mark. You, yeah. I know, no, he, he was, was like, yeah, yeah. and he still took it, man. And, and kicked he, the goal. And you could yeah. see the face. Yeah. Man. He was grimacing. He was grimacing. Oh. Look, well, you have to say something yeah. about Harry. Is man, this year, he's man, played he's through some hardship. He's had courage, man. I Good. give all respect to him. You know, like and him. played to full capacity as yeah. well, unlike old mate Paddy Cripps. Yeah. Well, oh, again, man, just wow. letting us what down we, when it was Let's fun. start on him. Yep. Where did he go in the second half? And this is the problem, man. He just goes missing way too often when we need him. Yes, correct. I, I, the first half, I thought he, he was good. started off I good. was giving him best on ground, like started best best for yeah. Carlton in the first started half. Started off real hot. What happened? And he just, the flame just burnt out. They put yeah. water on him and just said, yeah. what's, wrong, like with that, what's wrong with him? You know what? I think teams don't even pay attention to him anymore. No. They actually don't. I watch him and they don't even care. Like, no. Let him run. This this was, this match was like, and we keep, like, if, if you, like, how much more motivation and pushing do you need to, to get up for a game? You've got, you know, off-field issues, board, this, that, review, coach, coach, you know, supporters. Then you got finals. Finals could be a possibility as well. And what what, what did Teague say well, in his presser? He thought that it might have got to a few players' heads. Mm. Thinking how about finals. You, how can you say that? Are, are you not a prof- are we not a professional team? No, they're as not. Well? No, they're no. not. That's the no. first thing I. The, the first thing I mentioned, they are unprofessional yeah, because the, the flux in their form tells me that they're unprof- they just rock up and play however they want to play, play. That's on right. a week-to-week basis. Can, oh, this week, yeah. Saint they Kilda, pick and choose. Right. How can you pick and choose? Mate, this <laughs> team got belted last week. <laughs> 98 that's points. What, that's what happens when you talk about Carlton. You Jesus. start getting your ch- fucking Valeno. You yeah, get the acid, Valeno. Yeah, 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 the acid's but, coming nah, up. <laughs> but this team got absolutely walked off the park last week. It's a disgrace. That's the difference between us and a Melbourne. It's a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. Well, I wrote disgrace. here, lost to a team that lost by 98 points last week, playing in Melbourne, couldn't make the finals. We had a slight chance of, uh, of, of playing finals. We had a longer break. We got break. more to play for than, than the goal. We crashed. had a longer break. Yeah, we had days. a longer break. He and also we, used we that as an excuse. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? You know, we had an eight-day break. It might have... Um, I don't, I'm try, <laughs> trying to paraphrase here, but he said something about the eight-day break, and he said, oh, I might have been a bit too... You know, they would have lost their heads or something, or they might have been thinking about other things. Be of a food. Yeah, um, yeah, a little bit of water. Like, they're thinking about other Please. things. Cheers. Just, just a bit of paraphrasing. But he was saying, basically what he's saying is that their minds weren't on the job because they had a long break. But isn't break. that, aren't you the just admitting your failure as a coach? If that's the case, you can't get them ready. Them ready. The yeah. worst thing is, is that, and we've heard this for the last oh, yeah. couple of months, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, they, they try too hard. What is that? that what does that I even mean? I can't believe he said what that. How that? can someone try too hard? But, you know, I understand. I think what he means is that, like, when they see the ball and they're trying to put pressure, yeah. like, seven blokes go to, go one, to one player contest, and then yeah. it leaves them. But hang on a minute. Isn't that your role as head coach <laughs> to get the balance right with that? Of course. To say, this this is what has to be ingrained with us. When they have possession of the ball and it's live, of course. this is how many players have to go up to. This is how we have to structure up. Yeah. This is what we have to do. Yeah. And if you're, if that's what's happening, like they're trying too hard and, and too many players are going <laughs> to the contest and that, like you said, is it your job, 
isn't it the whole coaching well, that's panel's why got job? Wise, why coaches? To get you ready for this. Like, why aren't you mentally ready for this? Why aren't you mentally ready for this? Because that's part of football. I couldn't believe it. It's not just that. kicking goals. It's all, they always say 90% is above the head. So why aren't you ready? Why aren't you ready? I, Anyone that's <laughs> saying that, the, you know, it's not Teague's fault, it's not, this is bullshit, man. You have to get this team ready, whatever it takes, this, mate. I'll tell you what, this team, they, they value possessions and goals way more than defence and doing the one percenters. Yeah. Of course. They don't care about nah. the one percenters. Nah, you can they see couldn't it. care less, mate. Well, you, you see it, and it's happened every every week, that, yep. that high press, <clears throat> and then it's just like one kick and it's all over. And it's yep. like, well, so if Gold Coast can do that to you, any yeah, other team can it's, do it's, that it's, in the past. It is. They looked out on their feet last week. Oh, yeah. They looked out on their feet last week, and we, mate, we were outplayed and outdone in that last quarter. But really, I don't want to be disrespectful of Gold Coast. They are shit, man. Yeah. They are we shit. We couldn't even beat that. Seriously, we, we can't say that they're a good side, and we got if you go at the start of the year, up. if you go at the start of the year and you go list for list, who's just better? Oh, come on, man. There's no, there's no comparison. That's just on paper. I'm just talking about names. Yeah. Names just off names, better. and you go off well, like... <laughs> Maybe we just overrate our own. That's what I think we are. I think we do we rate do. over our own. We have got our own, four, five, maybe, maybe, like, I think, really good players. and then I'd just, say five. And but then every club has that, away. though. Yes. yes, and that's the thing. Everybody's got it's that. Everyone's it's got that. Bottom it's 15, those 10 players that are just... Well, they reckon the bottom six has to be good. <laughs> our bottom 15 are shit. They are. Yeah. Seriously, and, and then when they do play one good game... You know, everyone like you know, like blows smoke up their ass, and that that's not a good game. player. A good player is consistently playing like a Sam Walsh. A you know, strong consi- body of work, as we like to call yeah. it. Good yeah. body of work. Like I've noticed, like over this past year, he's come like to fru- like he's really blossomed this year. He's Tuk 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 Miller. Yeah. Like I wouldn't have put him as like a, he's not elite yet, but he's he's on his way. Very to good midfield. That. He looks like and he's, he's going to be. You know, good. obviously people go, oh yeah, if he's in Melbourne, you know, he'd be getting you know raps every week. But the thing is, he's just under the radar and he just keeps putting it together. Well, 100%, and he's man. just consistent. And another thing, just quickly before you go into that, if everyone yeah. looks at Terry's review this morning or whenever it yeah. came out, so have a look Sunday, at that. Yeah. And he and he talks about they did the video. They did the video conference with the players. Oh, yes. Because he's part of the yeah. Durden the kind Durden. of yeah, sponsorship. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were talking about that. They Miller. mentioned that Miller. They mentioned exactly what they were going to do through the game plan. They said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make sure they like to like possess the but ball. We're no going to stop it. No, none of that happened. None of it. <laughs> none of it, it happened. No, it didn't. It didn't. So is that a joke? Like, the coaches are coming out saying, this is what we're going to do, and not one thing happened. You know, in the first 10 minutes, that first 10 minutes I was watching, they were all over I know, us. I know, I know. They were killing us. But we couldn't get the ball. How many marks Bad. did they take? 122. 120. yeah. 122. That's a disgrace. That is. That's when you know that the pressure's not That means you're full on. control. You've yeah. got full control of this game. They were yeah. taking it. Bro, they killed us in every start. Every, every start. start. Well, I had a look, I think, again. The All the bullshit stats. Right. The bullshit so we stats we Where's won, our man. midfield, man? Bro, there's, there is none. Uh, apart from it's, Walsh. It's when, thin, bro. You know, when I see, all right, Walsh, I don't know why he started off a half back. Put him in the fucking middle. Yep. Like, get, that, this, that says you've got no confidence wow. in him. The to, if he's going <laughs> to get tagged, let him get tagged. Let's talk about some of those moves. There was that. Where did Kuno play for some of the game? Wasn't he in the back line there? Was he? Lockie O'Brien. Lockie O'Brien was full back. back. Some, for, 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 well, he covers the ground. But yeah, like I that's... know that. But, like, use him in a role where you're going to hurt the it opposition. Just, it's well, He's not going to hurt the opposition there. By the no. time this comes out. All that's going to happen, he gets punished. That's yeah. all that's going to happen. By the time this comes there. out, our head coach is probably gone anyway. Yeah. So, well, yeah. not not probably. But he is. Be, he is I, gone, I just yeah. don't understand the, the decisions. That, I, I, I was actually baffled. And that's all these decisions have to fall on him. Of course they well, do. Well, it's the buck stops with him. He's in you the know, coach's box. I keep hearing, he you know, oh, he needs good assistance around him. Yeah, no, whatever. No, I no, need good assistance, no, man. No. I'm the leader. 
right? I make everybody around me good, and that's it. And if you can't do that, unfortunately, I keep saying it, the job's too big for him. He keeps stuck. And every time he's under pressure, you know what happens? He just defaults to this bullshit game plan. The players default to this, because they've got no confidence. They default to this bomb running around. He defaults to doing these stupid moves. I'm telling you, man, I'm fucking sick. You know what I don't understand? How can you go from what we produced against St Kilda last week and that was the way we had to play. Short, sharp kicks, short, yep. sharp handballs, moving the ball between each other yep. and, and in between the zone that zone, Gold Coast yeah, set yeah, up yeah. and everything. Gold Coast didn't let us do it. But you know what's funny? We started as we finished off. Yep. Yep. Spot on. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. very we finished true. Because we that finished game off last week yeah. was that last shit. Week. Yep. Yeah. Mate. We had, that was pretty much a... That was like a quarter time break. To be continued. Yeah, to be continued. That was a scatter the way we started. I couldn't believe... I, no, I, no, the thing is, no, I, it's not that I couldn't believe it. I can believe it now with us. Yeah. Because you you, you expect this. I go into games thinking we're going to lose. Yeah. I don't want to go in thinking like that. So I always say, if we feel like that, they feel right? like that. They feel like that. They weren't confident even, going into that game. Even Fisher, mate. Like, oh. what's happened with him? He's, I'm telling you. I, he, oh, he, yeah, whatever. He was injured. He did his <laughs> leg, this and that, his ankle part. Oh, Mate, man, you've been enjoyed. how many games have you played this year? I don't know, maybe That's like excuses. 10. excuses. Come on, man. That's it's excuses. not like, you, you know, Charlie, you've missed like two years. Three, nearly three years of football. Two years, yeah. You say, so you know, you're coming back <laughs> off, you know, a long stint. He's too busy working out what questions he's going to ask on that. We'll bring that up later, man. but like, I just, yeah, where's he been? Like, I'm telling you. Even Dow yesterday. Well, Dow's another My one. My gripe's yeah. still with Crips, though. Oh. It's still with Crips. Because at the end of the day, your leaders are the ones what who about, have to leave what, you. Doesn't T go to him and go, I don't know, take the group here. You take the group at three quarter time and you, you fire them up. Do no. something different. I don't know. Just see, this is, it see up. people are probably thinking now, fuck the three, mate, you three aren't going berserk. It's it's not even ah, like it's, 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 nah. it's beyond done, berserk. Yeah, it's, 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 it's done. done. We're going to rant it's and done. rave. I did my ranting and raving in the year. Yeah, it's done. When, when the, when the, the season just... is there to, you know, to win your games, is it? No. We, it's just, we haven't it's been flat, the top eight team. It's disheartening. Everyone's disenchanted. And you're right. It's almost acceptance now of what we are. But like at the I, start, I, you're kind of like thing, and then you think, oh, you know, we need this, and we do, oh, we can do this, oh, we need to. But now it's just like acceptance. This is like the sooner we accept this is what we are, yeah. the better we are. I'm telling you. Evidence this is what, was there from last year, mate. Yeah. It is just so, so, so poor and just so disheartening. You know, you've got a lot of young kids out there who. who 100%. And we'll go into that too. There's a lot of things we're going to go into. There was a kid on fan. Fan cams, I think he's 12, I forgot his name, sorry. But I just looked at him and he just had this ear to ear grin and I'm like, I'm thinking back in the day. And that was like us two back in the day, yeah. you know. And then he's like, Terry asked him, what did you think of today's game? And I was hoping that he would say these word, he, this word. He's like, well, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but even the kids know, you know. You know, he spoke well. He's a little bit shy, but yep. he spoke well. You know, even though we're losing that generation and it's sad. Tell 100%. The truth. It's and, really and sad. And what happens is, like, the generation, like, even my son now, he's, like, 16, and he, he wrote me a message, and he and he, he said those words. He goes, we are shit. Yeah. You know, he's 16. He's already disheartened by it. There's now, no, you're not going to lose him because it's no, already in the it, heart. It's ingrained. But, but, like but the next... new generation, remember, like, last week, uh, what was his name? Michael, the baddie son. Michael with, yeah. with his yeah? two sons, And he said yeah. the second one, you know, like, he's already getting disheartened. Man, he's young yeah. enough to go, you know what, stuff this. I'm yeah. going for something else. You well, know, you got to be even careful. My, even my brother, he's like, mate, fuck, I'm joining you next year with the GWS yeah, membership. Well, at least like, you see some sort of I'm heart, supporting man. fucking shit. Nah, my, no. I think the, gr- the gripe too is that, like, there's there's actually no... Like, when I look at those blokes on the field, like, there's no brotherhood. And this is a big issue. There's, there's nothing... You can there, see there's, it. There is nothing there. No. There's nothing there, and there's nothing for me to suggest... That when I see these guys take the field every week, I know what I'm going to get. 100%. And if it's got to get to a point, see, it's at a point now when when they play poorly, you're like, oh, yeah, there we go. It's happened again. happened again. It's not at a point no. where they play poorly and you're like, fuck, geez, that was an That was out of the blue. What the hell happened? That's what there? I want. No, I know. That's what I want to go, because I want to go into the games confident. Yeah, we're going to win today. Yeah. There are no standards, mate. Nah. There are no, and, and no. The, the one thing I, I cannot stand. 
when the coaches and the leaders of the club come out and patronise everybody with the, oh, you know, we, we're working really hard in training. No, you're not. Our standards you're are, not. are really high. You'll you're see not. it in the pre-season when we come out to play. No, this whole so if you don't want to be with us now, you know, then you'll miss what's coming, blah, blah, blah. blah. What's coming? There isn't anything coming. What's there? I'm More failure. Now. Everyone's failed at that club. Everyone. What's the there? whole club's a failure. And the, the irony, the irony, the irony that it was Carlton Respects round and they dished up that to their members and supporters. They dished up that. 100%, man. And uh, I, I think... You know, I actually... I think it was Joe from, from Thailand. He wrote a message that said, Carlton Respects, and then he put in brackets, respects everyone except for the supporters. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my, my issue as well is that, like... I look at that and I, I, don't, I actually don't think we've ever won one of these Carlton Respects games. No. Probably not. Well, we played the, the Bulldogs. We lost at the MCG years ago. Last year, I can't remember who we played, but this year we lost again. Yeah. Like it's, I mean... So, I in other words, all right then, if that's the case, oh, disrespect, they make a big thing. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, respect, but it's, respect. emphasis shouldn't be on no, that. No, no, what I'm saying is, of course, that's very important. I don't... Me, personally... I think these issues, yeah. all these issues well, that they bring up in games, to, I don't Terry, like it. And, and Terry I don't like it. it. Yeah. They use it and it's good. You know, racism and all that. Don't get me wrong. Don't start writing me things. Don't get me wrong. I agree with them. Yeah, I watch a game to forget about this stuff. Yeah. Stop trying to make it political. And if they do respect all this, they're not showing it. Yeah, no, I agree. I so know. do they really care about the respect? Do they really care? Like, well, I don't I think it's, it's just something that the club well, throws it's, it's, out. You know what we, it is? It's uh, like, well, Terry mentioned it on his... It's close to his heart. It's yeah. close to his, And it's close to a lot of people's 100%, heart, you know? man. As, as I said, and, and my opinion on these matters is that I actually think that all, all these things, not sort themselves out, but you, you, you have a more positive outlook with when all these winning. certain things when, when the club is... United, correct. They're playing well. well they're, they're not playing good football, and and you're proud to say, you know, look, I might have things going on in my life, but I'm a fucking member of this club, and look how well they treat us. Look how well yep. the club is functioning. The holy trinity, yeah. as Pommy mentions, the players, players the fans, fans, and the coaches. Right. That yep. three, that those three. When those three are all aligned, intact, yep. and Here everything's aligned, everything's working. Hundred percent. Everything is working, and he's. And we'll, this will come Whoa, out in the we'll next couple of weeks. He's working towards something yeah. for me, which he's put on paper and stuff that I think is a great. I think it's it great. will be a fantastic presentation yeah. to the club, 100%. and they would be. This is a message to the Carlton Football Club: If you do not give this any credence, if you do not give this um, proposition that Pommy is raising with your football club any credence, or you serious, or you don't want to seriously look at it. Banana of the week, and you no. are you are negligent in your position. Banana of the at fucking the century club. of the century. You are I'm negligent. telling you this, and look, if people that we need an initiative like I yeah. like. This oh. is fan- this is this is one of right, and I'm not saying this because it's Pommy, yeah. right? But when I looked at it, right, I've looked at all the stuff that the club have done over the last. They haven't of years. done anything. That like Carlton this. way, the blueprint, all this gutsy, right? When I saw this, I was like. Jesus. How have they thought of something like Tommy's this? Tommy's like... You know why? Hit the nail on the head. Yep. It comes from the heart. 100%. Correct. And 100%. that's what's going to get people through. The love 100%. of the club. Yeah. Love is what gets you through. You know, but this gonna... is, you know when we say love, yep. we don't just say love. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's all cut. A little sh- smack it's on the head. Smack. It's all right. That's it's good. Great. Yeah, it's tough love. Like, Correct, on, man. Nothing wrong with Everyone it. Everyone needs no, it in no. their life, you know? I agree. And this thing with Makes Tommy... Makes them straight. Anyone that's watched the Jumper Punch in early days, there was a mention of this, but now Pommy's really put it all together. It's ramped it up, and yeah. I'm telling you, this is I think it's one of the best ideas to oh, unite I've, everybody mate, together. It is so incredible. We're gonna get right behind it. And we know the club are, are watching, man. I'm telling you, get ready for when it comes out. I want people to take some serious yeah. note of that. Correct. Anyway. Anyway. Is there any more to say? Well Well I, I just I still can't believe that we haven't been the top eight team. I, I, I just, can't believe that we were still in the, not in the running for the eight. Yeah. Like well, really. even if, you know, look. Like, no, no, forget we it. We were never making the eight. No. I, I don't care. We were never making the eight. We're just glossing nah. over yeah. the yeah. cracks here. Correct. Yeah. And, it and, the, and it was all there to be seen. And I, I genuinely think, I mean, the next question is now, really, who's the next coach of the football club? 
That's the question now. I, I genuinely think they you need know, an authority figure. You know our figure. thoughts. You know, we've no, been I mean, strong on it. I still believe that... You need someone with experience exactly, now. This, exactly. is a, this is like a head roll. I don't, I, you know what? I don't think, you don't it's, think so? I don't think it's just about... Ex, it's not about experience. No, but there's, no, there's no guaranteed recipe or formula. Well, some, someone... Right? Someone that's going to come in with edge is going to tell them yeah. straight. So I don't care if they go and pick a new coach up. Get them regimented. Get them set with their standards. This yep. is a premiership standard. This is not good enough. You and sh- this is why the people that we mention, like Clarkson and that, they've got that. You Correct. know what I mean? So now, is he the right person? Whatever. Who we knows? Know. We, no one we knows. Know. But I want someone... You, I've said this from the start. Carlton is a big club. At the end of the day, whatever you think about them, they're still huge. They're one of the biggest. Was was, <laughs> but they are. I know. I know. They're still it the name. A big the presence. name is. You yeah. need someone to take control because what happens is these leaders up the top. We won't go into those people, no. but they, they, they're strong people, and they give their opinion and they run it the way they want it. We need someone to say because at the end of the day, the president and that. They do not coach the side. Teague, I think, is being overrun with a lot of these decisions, right? It could possibly be. It could possibly be. We need someone who stands up and goes, no, this is my idea. This is my plan. This is what we're going to be doing. I don't care what you say. Well, I think it's as simple as, you know, it it all filters, and this is the way I say it all filters top down, right? But it's got to be the CEO controls his position. That's your role, and you oversee all the parts. The footy manager manages the footy. Yep. The head coach is the head coach. Yep. Right. The head of fitness is the head of fitness. Yep. The list manager is the list manager. Don't start prying into other people's exactly. roles because they are paid to, to do, do that. Yeah. Yeah. So if the list manager comes that. up to the coach and goes, listen, I reckon you should just play O'Brien in the back, you know. That's no. not your job. No. Yeah. Go and do what you've got to go and do. Don't worry what I've got to do. Well, but I think there's with people getting involved. Even Russell. He's apparently Egos got like, and all that. All that. He's got like they're getting two, too much job roles there. Yeah, yeah. and this is the problem. It's I've heard much. that too, too. That they've got shit. more roles than what they're supposed to do. Well, is much. that because of... Uh, this is not... But I'm saying, is this because they, they cut a lot of people and they, they people assume care. more roles? No, neither do I. Well, why don't you... No, 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 no. If you're smart, why don't you cut the... The, so he's got, say, he's got two roles, yeah, and he's on whatever he say. He's on five hundred for his sake, whatever. Why don't you cut one of his roles, give him two fifty, and get a person that's actually in their 100%. role, give them two fifty. Hundred percent. Because they're all yeah. contracts. contracts. I understand yeah, that. Yeah. I, know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But why does he have to do two roles or three uh, roles? I why? Why is he the head of fucking what's I, it, what is it? The my, the play, the leadership group yeah, or something? Well, they're not well, fucking leaders. Like. I'll, I'll go back to the 95 side. One of the things in 94-95, David Parkin gave responsibility to the people on the ground, right, the players, for their own section. So they had a defensive. He wouldn't get involved. Yeah. They just they contr- they just yeah. used to control themselves, the midfield, the forwards, and you had your leaders, and look what they did. Because all of a sudden, like, for example, the defence... It, it was it all, within, it's all connected well, yeah. and that's what we don't know but we've got a total it, it disconnect it was up to them yeah. it was up to them yeah. you know what I mean yeah. the responsibility fell on them so yeah. naturally when that happens leaders start to lift yeah it doesn't seem they're giving that responsibility to people you no. know what I mean no. like why isn't Cribs seriously I don't want to keep harping on him but why isn't he on the ground right things aren't working Demanding what is parking. going on what is going on alright let's do this Hey, we should be doing this, but why isn't... I don't see that. Am I missing it? Well, I can't be missing it because it's not happening, but why aren't I seeing that? The great leaders, have a look at them in recent times. Luke Hodge, these kind of leaders. The you Sal know. Woods and all the that. The Sal Woods, yeah. you look at them even, and they're demanding it and then they're showing it. One I like to always point out is Nick Maxwell. He's Nick not Maxwell. the most gifted footballer. He was not the most gifted footballer, but, but geez, he's a great he leader. Awesome yeah. leader. The other one was... Um, and sometimes your your best leaders aren't your most gifted no, footballers. They don't, they don't have to be. The other one was Strong from Geelong. Who was, the, who was the captain? Who, Tom Harley? Harley, oh, Harley. yeah. Like champion. Awesome. Well, champion. now he's in the CEO, CEO, of CEO of Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. <clears> but at the time, he wasn't like a champion player. He was a good player. Correct. 
But as a leader, yeah, mate, to galvanise his troops because your voice should be the same as your coaches, the pinnacle, yep. and straight on field, the pinnacle on field. And if those standards well, on the field, well, you represented on field, yeah, correct. And if your standards from the from the coach, if it's relating relaying down to old mate Paddy Cribs aren't at the highest order, then fucking you got disconnects well, everywhere. This is where it's a total disconnect from top to bottom. My, my issue is as well with you know, I mean, obviously all the stuff that's going on off the field and yeah, whatever, yeah. right? It, it, that's not for me. It's a I want to see from the club right up the top, I want to see, and this is for all people on the board or whoever, the incoming president, Luke Sayers, whatever it may be, lay out your plan. I want to, I want to see, all right, you might say we want to get finals and top eight and, and we want to win a premiership, but I want to, where's, what's your roadmap? That's it. Show us. 100%. I want to see it. I want to see what the KPI is. that's everyone. Everyone wants finals. But that's for us to hold them that. into yeah. account. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to see. And that's why I'm worried with what's going on at the moment. 100%. Well, with that, just quickly, like, I'm not going to go into it, but I'm glad that the meeting's been moved. Yeah. So, yeah, well, I and think it it's the right us, thing to do. It gives us all an option. Well, it gives us an option. So, I agree. So uh, we don't know what's the, right or wrong, but right. what we do know, now we've got time to digest this, Correct. right? Correct. And with the work that Vince did and everyone, right, I think everyone should just everyone that kind of like supporting that a little bit of a pat on the back that we got something and we got well, our voice forward, has been at heard. least but that was the right thing to do yeah. that was the right yeah. thing to do and don't yeah. believe that this about the covid that's why they think oh, that was ah oh, come on what let's be serious it's it's July in the end of the financial it's the end of the financial year Good. so it's 2022 so, so we've we basically nearly got one year whole, to mull over this mull over get it, something it. in preparation yep. and whatever if yep. you don't like, you don't like it. You like, you 100%. like it. And whatever. So all I was have to say is that sometimes the people, you know what I mean, a bit of worse, the voice was heard. Yeah, all the of voice was heard. So right. I'm glad that we've moved that. We've uh, now it's all about uniting. Yeah. Now right. we've got this to is, unite. This is where this is what every this is what every good every champion football club has. Everyone's united. Hundred percent. And on the same page. Hundred percent. So. How can you work together if you don't like? But the hard, that you don't like each other. Well, hey, if you're not galvanised together. The hard how does discussions it work? need to be had for you to unite. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. The hard and discussions it, need to be had. And the ones that aren't, like they 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 don't deserve to be there. It's time to See leave. You later. Yeah, it's time, time to, to leave. It's time yep. to leave, man. Correct. Correct. All right. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, last night I was pretty depressed. So I actually sent you a message saying, man, I can't even do you this run chair, man. I, I, just, I, I can't you... do it, man. Like, I don't know what to do, man, because I was getting in front of my computer and I was just staring at it. Well, as we do, we lift each other up. And then we lift I it. was on the seltzers last night. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The passion fruit seltzers. Fantastic. I, I'd be in Dole 40 last night. And 80 yeah. calories. With, with, I can't even fucking speak anymore. Yeah. I was with the missus. Yeah. And, uh, yep, shout out to Alyssa. She's a champion. Alyssa, you oh, are yeah. a champion. She's a champion. You are a champion. So, yeah, she... Put all my mind off that. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. We had a great, we had a great meal. We had a Thai barbecue last night. Man, it was sick, man. So you know, apart from Carlton, you know, they make us depressed. There's other things in life as well. We've got yeah. each other. That's it. So, that's yeah. it. That's it. Hey, since we're there, hey, since talking about the cage, like we really don't know what's going to happen, do we? I don't. No, you don't know. But there is one person that we keep going oh. to, huh? The Kumbari Luigi. Who, Luigi? Mate, yeah. he's back again. Oh, yeah, Luigi. Yeah, no, nah, he's there, man. And I asked him the same question again. And, what is and... All right, you have two options. A, Teak stays to the end of next again? year. Or option B. B, B, B. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what his B is. He knows. B's, he knows? He knows. I reckon he knows something that we, we don't. don't. He knows who the coach yeah, is going to be, mate. I'm he telling knows. you. He knows. We've got to ring him up. He knows. He know he's been he's known for months now. He said there was a signed deal, but anyway, let's leave us. <laughs> we like Luigi. Well, let's let's get some votes. Must yep. have been at Doninius. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, there you go, mate. Right? This is where we go. <laughs> the Doninius. <laughs> well, um, um, but I'll start off. Go three, start. Uh, one to the gazelle. I thought. Oh, I love yeah, Johnny. It was one hit behind play. Yeah. Rack someone. I don't know who it was. Yeah, but it was as a free yeah, kick yeah, was being yeah, played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yes, fucking yes, laid yes, into yeah, him. Yeah, so yeah, he gets great. one. Tough Straight in. He got the new hair too. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. juicy. He looks juicy. <laughs> as fuck, man. I like him. Oh. Wow. Wow. He, he could have easily played in the, in the 80s and that and fitted in perfectly, oh, man. Uh, two to Kennedy. I thought he was. Yeah. He started off well. And Kennedy. Yep. Yep. Three to Weeders. Fuck, there was one play where he marked it. 
And he just like, took off. And he launched. Yeah, he just yeah. took off. Yeah, he was yeah. on the wing. Out of side wing. Yes, yeah. he did too. But he had a lot of that all night. Him and Jonesy. I mean, they were... Oh, great. Ja- was all right. Yeah, no, he was easy. Uh, four to Kerno, yep. not Charlie, Ed. Yep. Yeah. Um, and five to Newman, who yeah. was pretty, pretty good. So Newman, yeah, after being... Yeah, yeah. Well, Newman, Newman uh, had, a, had a good game. One to Stocker, yeah. two to Ed Kerno, three to Jacob Wiedering, four to Matt Kennedy, and five to Nick Newman. Wow, well, that's good, that's good, that's good. So Newman did well. Are those votes so, right? Are they, they're yeah, not, no, no, that's exactly good. right. The, the funny thing is, uh, no, no, I got one different. I got one different. So we're pretty close. I gave one to Walsh. I still reckon he, he fired okay. up, you know. He still he did still well. He still gets in there. He gets one. He I gets always one said I'm going to give him one. <laughs> that's why I couldn't. <laughs> I had to give him my vote. He did, he did all right, you know. He did, he it wasn't his best. Well. He battled. He always battles, you know. Uh, Weedering for two. Ed Kerno for three. Kennedy, I think, just fouled on for four. And Newman. Yep. So there you go. So there you go. So now we'll go to the jumper puncher leaderboard. There it is. And as you can see, while she moves up one more point to 224. Yeah, uh, Wheat's on 89. And then the rest just stayed the same. McKay, 76. Cribber, 59. Mackay yeah. on the wing, huh. 76. And Doc, 53 to finish off, yeah, so... We should, um, why don't we put the leaderboard away for the last two weeks? Oh, is it and just so we can reveal the, the other place, yeah, so people don't know who's finished second, third, fourth, because right. we all know who's won it. All right, so no leaderboard. I reckon we should, week. for this week, we'll it's show... It's all about... Last two weeks, we'll, we'll put end it away. Of the, end of the year, I think we'll give... Do we have the full leaderboard? Yeah, we're going to have yeah. the full leaderboard. Okay. Okay. okay, end of the year, we'll have a full leaderboard. We're going to have the full yeah. leaderboard, right. everyone that got a vote, and we'll, we'll probably have a bit of a look and Maybe. see... Put your predictions from one to. It'd be nice know, if we could it. announce yeah. it at the uh, if we had had a big show or something, or they get together. Well, we could announce you never it. know. Anyway, it we'll still see. might happen. It still might happen. It's in the uh, pipe works. It might be a grand final edition or Potentially, something. Potentially, yeah. Okay. So let's. Uh, we, Very good. Know, never Very know. good. Hey, listen. Someone that um is happy. Yes. That we keep losing is. <laughs> so I'll show you this post from uh, John O. Smith, who, who buys all the memorabilia. Right, okay, what did he have And to as say? you can see, it says, thanks. Thank, Thank you, you Carlton. Me. Just saved me a heap of money. <laughs> Won't be bidding on no more merchandise <laughs> on the auction <laughs> site for this year. <laughs> Good. Good. You've just lost a possible buyer. <laughs> yeah, just lost thousands of dollars for this bloke. Far right? out. Yeah. Oh, man. See, this is when, and even Pommy was saying it, he goes... These people on the board and all that and all these people, these decision makers, they're not going to care because 80,000 members are signing up. Right? People are signing up. The only moment that they'll worry is when people start, start. buttering up and start yeah. putting on social media, don't sign up. Don't. And I, I'm starting to see it. Mm. I'm starting to see it. In the comments, I'm yeah, not buying, yeah, I'm not yeah, reviewing yeah, yeah, yeah. next year. It's and... getting bad, man. Oh, 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 Look, man. I, I think people by the start of the new year, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, the, a bit the of the Kool Aid yeah, starts, and the, it'd be very hard. Not many people lose it, but they'll just dock yeah. up the memberships anyway. Yeah. They'll start selling membership to pets and yeah. all that, and they'll dock them up. They'll give you a one one game membership. They'll give you just an honourable membership or whatever, <laughs> and they'll build it up. So I don't think. But you're right. You are seeing like people are just getting sick of it now, you especially blame? after they made their their thing that they were going to make, make the, the finals. finals yeah. so they made their bed, and yeah, they're going to now you're laying it. it. See. Hey, listen, let's uh, bring a bit of joy okay. to one of our favourite Zio's. Zio Frangagot, what a man. And he could speak many languages. Megalo, 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 Megalo <laughs> se pulibas no Frangagot. Trapezaria, Rematocamres, Cameras, Salonia, Carecles, Apopo Frangagot. El late, Nagorazite, Epipla, so Frangagot. In Brunswick, and put this guy. Nagorazi, this is Franco Cozzo. Franco Cozzo, for the first time in Australia, the Gara Guerra, Guerra e Prezzi, Grande Svendita, dove a Brunswick and put this guy. Se migliori mobili volete comprare, oggi, domani, sempre, da Franco Cozzo dovete andare, dove a Brunswick and put this guy. Comprate da Franco Cozzo. Migalo, Migalo. Absolute scenes. Nah, he was. He was, Apparently he was down at Ligue on Rip and Flares when he only won the Euros. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 mate, what a set of hair, man. I'm jealous. Uh, me too. Man. Mate. So am I. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. That's it. That's it. Looking suave. Hey, 
everyone's waiting for this. And there's a hey, listen, this segment could go on forever. Mate, I, we could <laughs> Merino Bros stock up. <laughs> Banana of, of the, the week. week. <laughs> I love this scene. And this is sponsored proudly. By the Merino Bros. Yeah. You can go check them out on Instagram at Merino Bros Produce. Uh, www.merinobros.com.au yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Make sure you uh, if you Fantastic. make sure you get your orders in before twelve AM and you get your next day delivery. All COVID safe, they're all one touch process, they got their gloves and yep. they got this and that, so don't be they are professional. They are they're yeah. professional, they're professional, they're professional when go, outfit. When you go down there, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. If you see <laughs> one of the merino <laughs> bros around town, take a photo of it and send yeah, it yeah. in. That's it. See, That's it. the merino <laughs> bros, man. We saw if the merino. They, they are delivered, they're doing a good job. Uh, free shipping over sixty dollars, yeah. so yeah, straight to your door. And Huge. listen, man. We are very appreciative, man. They're a we big are. supporter of our, of our show. Thank you very much. Because of them, we we can uh, we can do a few little things. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, so. we put heaps of bets on and. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Same game, Malt. <Maltes. laughs> we've done all the dough. Yeah, we've That's done it. We've all done all the dough. dough. <laughs> we need more, more sponsors, please. No, no, <laughs> we're, 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 we're responsible. We've first one. All right, I'll go in. I'll go in first. What am I going to do? I'm going to give it to like Dow, <laughs> eight disposals, <laughs> nothing in the last. Where did he go? Like, ah, can't be bothered. You give it to the selection panel for like putting in people like Betts or Murphy because they know that the free 50 and the free 100's coming up in two weeks' time. That's guaranteed. Free 50 and free 100. Remember that. Last That's game. happening. I'm double chaired off. Dead. Oh, the double chair. Wait, there could be a triple. With old mate cockroach. You reckon the cockroach? Yeah, well, they're fine. gonna have to bring him in because who's gonna? Well, how many up? medical subs can we have? Two, three. I don't know. Yeah. As many as they want. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee they'll play him. Um, they'll play him full games. Murphy's gonna play full yeah, games. 100%. He won't be a medical yeah. sub. Yeah. So that's it. Who, who else do I give it to? You know, for I for you know what? Stuff the team. I'm gonna give it to this bloke here, right? He used to play for Carlton. He used to play for Carlton. Yeah. Oh. Daniel Goridge. Daniel Gorridge. Oh. oh. Yeah. So have a look at this. During the What's week. You know? Oh, this was an made... Instagram post. Yeah. Yeah. So have a look at this Instagram oh, no. post. He no, made a little a bit. Hello, everyone. Um, today I made a bet that if Ooh. the Gold Coast Suns beat Carlton, um, I'd get Stuart Jew's face tatted on me. The game's finished. Um, oh. Gold Coast have beaten Carlton. With... Wow. <laughs> Which means Stuart Jew's face will be tatted on me. Um... Yes? Mm. What do you think about it? Tell well, me. yeah. Fuck, <laughs> 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 Hey, mate. Yeah. <laughs> banana of the week, mate. That's a banana of the year. What a banana. Lucky it's just his face. Because it was his whole body, it would have been a full to- full body to <laughs> <laughs> So that's it. So, that's, so uh, yeah, that's a big one. That's a you big, don't do that shit. Well, Especially you know what? Hey, I'm going to say if he lives he up to it, to mate. Yeah, I think he, he will. Be. He's on social media. That's fantastic. I think he will. You get, you get lambasted. Yeah, he'll get it on his ass or something. You know? Yeah, you'll have to be on his ass. On the bottom of his foot or something, so yeah, no one can ever see it ever again. I want it on the ass. Hey, listen, I got another one. So I got two today. We okay. I got two. So I'm going to give it to this bloke here. Now, listen, no one is like, um, how do you say, safe from banana. Exactly. No, well, that's exactly right. No one's, no one's safe banana, from banana. You're a banana. That's it. You're a banana. So to our great leader, the Which president of, uh, president Blue, of Abroad. Blue Abroad. Oh, Terry. Terry. Oh, no. Oh, wow. We might get taken off no, there. I don't want to get Let's too carried this, away, mate. but... <laughs> <laughs> We're back, baby. Oh, no, Terry. Oh, We're absolutely Terry. back, baby. Fuck now yeah. we've got to show that the after <laughs> Hello, darkness, it's my old friend. <laughs> oh, Terry, That's Terry. for you, mate. Oh, That's for you. Take it easy, mate. Take it easy. The only good thing is... The tops, the everyone go on there. Like, the yeah, yeah, Terry, right. put the link up. Yeah. Put the link yeah. up. Yeah. The up There's if your you... plug, your fraud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's your plug. That's it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so there you go, mate. That was a banana of the week <sighs> to them too. And they're pretty big bananas. 
They're yeah. fat bananas. Fat, yeah. fat bananas. Yeah. Now, are you going Mars or? Yeah, you go, you go, because yeah, I'll end yeah. it with mine. Yeah. yeah. Mine's a quaddy. Oh. oh, getting ready for the spring the carnival. The spring racing. Oh, wow. oh, mate, oh, the oh, wow. He's got all four legs of the quaddy here. He's taken them all one out as well. And he bets. That's one. Oh, that's going to be. That's one. The list committee or list, list management. management. That's two, two. That's for any bets. Yeah. Another coach. You're going to sign him for four years? I don't think so. <laughs> two. Dow. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just going to end it on this one. <laughs> Gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> you got Fisher. that twice this year. Fisher, that's four. <laughs> now, if you go, I think we're going to put the screenshot up. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll get it up. We'll we're get gonna it up. Put it up. Uh, a fan or <laughs> someone commented, said, yes. can you please kick a goal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to put the screenshot. This dickhead actually spoke gibberish yeah. and said no. Said, no. You are a man of your yeah, word, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zachary Fisher. <laughs> the mullet's still not gone, too. Nah, nah, He's still a got a little mullet. mullet, so I think you should be shaving your head. Yeah. It's a half a mullet. <laughs> you For are his half the... efforts that he puts on the ground. Oh, I can't believe you. I, I, he's actually a man of his word. No, no, he kept it. The bloke said, can you please kick a goal? And he goes, he no. said no. And he, and he said no. It. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Kudos to you because no, no, you are a man a of your word. Bloke, mate. So, so you bloke. shove this banana up your ass. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's and you shove the your quality. fucking gibberish podcast up your oh, ass. There you go. And there Who it you is. Get on this your week? banana of the week. Four legs. It's the quaddy. Mars has gone the quaddy. The quaddy, man. That is a brilliant one, man. The quaddy, man. got good odds on that, too. Taking them all one out. <laughs> now, my banana of the week is not going to be announced here. I've done a little video. Okay. Okay, now let's play this video and let's have, have a look. look at this video. So I started getting into the process of drawing, but then I thought, no, no, no. This artistic masterpiece, <laughs> I thought, was much better. So I've got my remote my go. TV right. and I just want to turn the TV on so you can you can see so you can see the red bucket yeah, flashes yeah, so no, the TV's happening. on it's happening. The TV's come let's on. go so what are we, gonna we do? await Have you and it? this is the artist impression of Carlton's 2021 season <laughs> <laughs> And there's no signal, I think there's also no signal. There. 3D, 3D, 3D. I love this it. is real 3D. No, I didn't have the 3D glasses, right? So my banana of the week, it's a banana of the year. It's yeah. the Carlton's 2021 oh. season. The I love it. And we got the love big it. banana. So that's big that. Banana. It's an artist impression it. right there. The I artist impression of banana of the week. The artist impression of it. Hey, if you put that in the museum, people pay big I'm, money. Mate, I'm telling you, that. mate, it's going to be in Mona. In the, the museum of Tasmania. <laughs> with, the, with the red rope around it. We're going to get mad dogs to, to guard it. <laughs> like a <All> cage right. <laughs> lion. <laughs> oh, no. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic, guys. <sighs> I think oh, that was right. one of our best bananas of the week. Yeah, like no it. one's exempt. No one's like <laughs> exempt. Like no, like they can't it. even like get a government like exemption it. from banana of the week. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, so. we're gonna show. We got one more thing. We're gonna show Banana Man. Yes. Oh, so Banana Man. Do. There we go so again. To everybody involved who got banana of the week. This is you, man. Hey, you, this is your school boys living to an amazing documentary. The bananas are amazing transformation occurs. Massive, oh, massive potassium here as well. Eric is banana man. Banana man. We should get like a like an autopsy of a banana going That's or something, it. you know. Banana man. Periodic man. table. Let it <laughs> for potassium. That's a fantastic huge, man. That was a big banana. That. that was a big banana. They're only getting bigger. Oh. But hey, listen, we don't want a big banana of the week. We want small bananas of the week. But. They keep just giving us the material. Keep, coach, up. Coach, keep, coaches, keep giving everything. you the material. Actually, there was a funny comment from Fab. It was part of the Ian Prendicast, and he said, like, so I think he was having an argument about David Teague on the oh God. <laughs> on Twitter, oh right? Boy. It wasn't like it was not a massive argument. Like, and he said, he goes, <laughs> he goes, David Teague. So he goes, 
he said something along the lines of um, he, he looks he's so held back that he makes beige look like a kaleidoscope. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's a top. Oh, I love that podcast. Fucking really brilliant. Hours. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm loving it, man. I love it. Oh, taking the piss. Hey, oh, listen. Dear me. <laughs> Doing all this, we actually forgot yes. something. What did we what forget? What did we forget? Rocco's rant. Rocco's rant. It just keeps bringing. It- it's not at the end I'll anymore. Put it here. It's not at the end. It can't be in the middle. I'm thinking, what do I want to do? Do I want to do it in the middle of this like comedy kind of, like a little bit of a laugh? Or do I do it at the end? Should we do it now? Well, people do get Come a laugh on. out of this. Let's and, go. Rock you know, Rocco's Rocco's a bit of a serious one. Okay. Well, it's gonna, I think it's going to lead into something that I'll make mention of after you do it. But All right. Yeah, so it works out perfect. Rocco's yeah. rant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, read out something, right? Right. So. Now, who is this? Who, who sent you this, or who has this been? All right, I'll tell you at the end. Okay, all right. It's, there's a bit here, but I'll quickly get through it. So, I mean, we've all been getting messages. Yep, yep. Yeah, and this is from, you know, like, uh, fans who are just like, and they, and they, it's heartfelt things they're telling. They're, they're just saying, I've given up, I can't do this anymore, why do they keep doing this to us? You know what I mean? And it's good, man. I'm responding to all of it. And it's good because we all feel the same. So Absolutely. we're all things. So this was sent by somebody. And it says this. It says, the title was, Play Like You Are Trying to Earn It. And then it says, let me get one thing straight. I love my team. Always have, always will. I love wearing the navy blue jumper. And my kids will wear it. And their kids will wear it too. But I'm disappointed and I'm upset because no matter how much I support I give them, they keep letting me down. It's hard to watch the same routine every week. We play good and we play shit. <laughs> then we play twice as shit. <laughs> then we play good, but it's still not good enough. <laughs> you know, I remember watching this team as a kid. And I would cry. And I remember once my dad having to carry me out of the stadium because I was crying that much. I have every support in the world for them and I will always go and watch them. I will always wear my jumper and I'll always back them. But they always let me down. I think they're incredible because I've seen them play like they're just an incredible side. So when I see a performance I just watched yesterday, I can't understand. That's the same team that I've been watching and calling champions. In my eyes anyway, they are champions. Do I think Cribs should be captain? No. I, I don't think he can do both. He's a good player, but he's not a leader. And sometimes it's okay just to be a good player. You don't have to be both. I don't want to really be that corny girl and sentimental because I don't know if that's what everybody wants to hear. But sometimes it's it's simple. Anyone can learn how to play the game and know play all the tactics by the rules. But we all need to remember what it was like to play with heart and grit and wanting to win. Really wanting to win. Play for the kids that's, that are watching you, that want to be like you. I know it sounds like, again, sentimental, but seriously, there's a kid out there that wants to be the next Patrick Cribs. Play, for the, play, play from the heart. And I think playing from the heart and playing from the soul can change the whole game. Honestly, I truly do believe this. Now... They need to play like they're trying to earn a spot again, like they're trying to earn the jumper or a game for the first time. Like, play like you really want it. Don't play like you're too big for your boots because you're not. Play like you're trying to earn it again, like you haven't earned the jumper yet or the number. And because I guarantee that you look back at the kids 
play like you played when you were a kid. And if you do that, well, maybe, maybe there'll be a shift in the game. Then she finishes off to say, play like you're not a star or a, a, the star or the AFL player. Play like you haven't been drafted and you might actually get it right. All right, that was a message. Right. It went on a bit. Sheesh. Now, that was from... Heartfelt. Taylor, the princess of the jumper punch, my daughter. Hey, there oh, you go. Okay. So she wrote that like one o'clock in the morning. She's to, channeling her inner Shakespearean uh, <laughs> Yeah, she actually voice. wrote it to start. She wrote... <laughs> I'm no Shakespeare like Paul, but <laughs> this is what I wrote after the game. So she had something to say and and she just put it out in there and she sent it to me, you know. So yeah. my it, rant is, chest, yeah. this is like affecting people. It is. Oh, this yeah. is affecting people. Like yeah. people, like I hope the club does realise, not just by saying it in words, but I hope they realise, Right that this does affect people. This means a lot to people. Yeah, yeah? it does. Or what do you say? You say, you, you know, you, you, you live your life wanting to be a memory. How do you what want to be What are you going to be remembered for? Half these players for? won't be remembered, you know what I mean? So, and that's not, like, that's one message there, but, you know, I've been getting others, you yeah, know. There's a lot. There's a lot. Well, the club, and, and this, this, was the seg- this was a perfect segue as to what I wanted to get into, and, and I think it was actually a really good message from Pommy during the week. He did he did his own little video after all the yeah. you know, stuff about the, the board, board and, and, and the and petitions that. and all this sort of came out at the end of the day. And he was like, you know, he, he sort of went back to his roots. Yep. Went back to his roots and, and, and explained his own Carlton story yep. and why he loves the club and what it meant to him and how it's galvanised him as, as a person, as a father as a husband. It made his family. Yeah, it, it, that's that's the reason he's he's still yeah. here. That's the reason he's, he's in Australia. Man, that's, that's the reason right. he's, you know, he's got three kids and he's got a beautiful wife. So, yeah. you know, um, look, for me, like, the way I look at it too is that for however serious we take it and for however, you know, we, we do get angry and we get happy and we get upset and we get, you know, all that, all that. It, it's, for, it's for the love of the club, Yeah, you know. And that's what I think people fail to realise when, when people do say things that they might not agree with, and people do bring certain aspects of different parts of life into the football club. That it, it I think for the majority, it does come from the, heart. the right place. Yeah, and of course, from the heart. It does. It, it's a want and a will to, to get this club would we back really to where we want. Would no, we, of course not. Sometimes people just don't know how to say it in the right way, which is fine. I don't know how to say half yeah, the shit I mate. say in the right way. You know what I mean? <laughs> it comes yeah. out right. So <laughs> but, I, you know, I, you know and I look back to the roots of this club and, and why I and he he started for. You know, our, our fathers were that's right. Mad Carlton, and you know they they seen grand finals and. They instilled that into yeah. us, saying, you know, you follow this football club because yeah. we're winners. And that's the reason, you know, and because of that, that Italian connection. 100%. Part of the community. It's, it's not just... There's some connection in yeah. some capacity. Of yeah, the way. correct. And, and I think the, the reason people fell in love with them was because it was a football club that demanded success and were winners. Yep. And that is, it's just such an attractive... Of it's course. such an attractive you selling point. You want to be point. part of it. Yeah, you want to be part yeah, of it. You want exactly to be part of the right. Wagon. Get get on that wagon. Yeah, you know when people say, "Oh, you're getting part of the bandwagon." You know yeah, why? Because like for winners. me, yeah, and and I look back. Nothing at, wrong with that too, but yeah, yeah, I, I look back at like you know my relationships that I've formed outside of the club because of the club. Yep. That's right. Yeah. You know, girlfriend. Who's now my ex, but whatever. <laughs> you know, so I've got a connection there, and you know, fucking some fantastic times that yeah. we've had at the footy as well, and of course. It's, you know, that, that's what it's all about. And you said too, like, it's a release to get away from, from the bullshit and that's of it. life. Really. And that's what happens. It you is. You but go the problem to the f- is, is that it becomes part of your life. It does. And it does. Because you because you do care for it so much. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, it is one of those things. You know, How football, do we connect, bro? I was, I was just about to say that. Because of this, because of Blue Abroad oh, yeah. and the footy club, you know, like, we've met many good friends. And now we've... We've done this. We met. We become good mates. We do this. You know, like I didn't. I didn't know Rocco before nah, this. No, nah. like you knew nah. each other. Like you're speaking, but yeah, you know, I never met him. I've yeah, never, never met, met him. Like, yeah, like, we pretty much met. Like, we all met at the same time. Two days before we did the, the, the first, first show. show. 
We went yeah. out so, with But this other. is what it can become. This yeah. is what I and want this the is players. The, and this is understand. the family that we've produced yeah. as well. And Lou Broad and yeah, Tommy and all I mean. that. This is what I'm saying. It's this, like, the, you, I want this brotherhood and this community to... Project on To, to manifest yeah. itself within on the playing group. And I just don't see it. And it's sad. I think the club has gone away from that. As much as they say... It's too much now off-field dramas and all that. I know that can can get you, you know, together as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The car respects and all that and the rainbow stuff and, you know, yeah. all that can be... The footy and winning will galvanise everyone. Of course Correct. it is. You know? Of course it is. And... So, whole club approach. Getting everyone together yeah, on united. the same... Same page, same line. Yeah. Let's same line, not Let's just the same page. Let's involve the players. Because I feel there's a, been a disconnect for a long time. So there has year. been, clearly. There has been. 100%, you know? man. And 100%. the way the club communicates with its members and supporters, yep. with, yep. you know, the general meeting and what happened. And I mean, like, it's, you know, I mean, sh- show us a little well, bit of, you it's know, our like club, just, just man. be, you know, be smart with it all. It's our club and we want to feel involved. Man, doesn't the club know, everyone that understands this, people like to be a part of something. They Correct. like to feel like you're a Spot part. On. And if you do, you're going to go beyond beyond your Agreed. means to help and to, to support course, and everything. Exactly. But if you start getting pushed away and there's starting to be this division of the top to the bottom and, and you can see the division on the ground and that, man, I'm telling you. This I feel like our club's like a division of like how life is at the moment. You've got the rich and then you've got like a middle yeah. class well, this and is you've the got problem. the poor as well. Yeah. And I feel like that's how it, uh, it feels well, like that's when, how it this is This is the me. issue, right? Now, th- this is the, when, when you divide people up into groups... Like, how are you ever going to be you united? united? You don't. So. It's all got to be one group, the Carlton Football Club, and that encompasses players, coaches, executives, fans, yep. members, Staff. sponsors, all of it. Yep. Start all of it. One yep. big army, And this is why I'm telling group. you, and this thing that Pommy's put together, yep. I'm telling right. you, this is the way. This is heartfelt. This is love. And this is not just... It's, it's love, it's sentimental, but it's also... A very very smart business mold. Yep. And but you I can like always fall back on it. You too. can fall back on it. Oh, and no. he knows because his Rangers, they were they were cooked. No, they were cooked. Corrupt right. administration. Yeah. They got relegated. They and then they everything. come up met last year and they they undefeated. they were undefeated. undefeated. How how does that happen? Yeah, it took them what six seven years. Yeah. It's taken us six years and we can't even win wow. a game against can't Gold win Coast. Can't even win a game. So that's that. All right. That was good. That was good. That was good. All right, we have. Did we have a reserves game? No, there was no reserves. There may have been a scratch match, but I don't know. I was again. Because it all stopped because of that. I'm supposed supposed to to call it again, mate. I must be the curse. (laughs) Every time they call it, Paul's curse. Paul's curse. Yeah, Yeah, there's nothing going on. So nothing going on there at the moment. I was surprised McGovern actually didn't play on the weekend, but I mean, obviously he. It would have been to do with him ticking off GPS numbers and all that. But yeah, uh, unless there was, I haven't heard anything about a scratch match. I haven't, I haven't asked anyone at the club. So so nothing there. All right, nothing there. Next is, oh, this is a big one. Mars's Minkiata. What have you got I don't know. What, what is your Minkiata this week? You haven't revealed. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow. Well. You've been paying That's it. been sitting there. What's the that? whole show? If you've been paying attention, yeah, let me, you'll let be me just Let me show the audience. Yes, okay, you can't put me, me where I live. Can't put oh, where sorry, I live, sorry, you sorry, dickhead. How <laughs> <you go. laughs> can people yeah. rocking up to me front door? <laughs> I blew that out. There you go. It's a bit late now. You're even <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? Well, I don't care. Come to my front nah, door. We'll have a coffee together. That. We'll have a we'll Medellina. We'll, anyway. bl- we'll blur it out. If, we'll, if blur we'll blur it Well, it's up. from Carlton Football Club. Supporting Indigenous communities. Address to Marcello Sebastiani of I Won't Tell You. So they sent you... I haven't up. opened this. This is unopened. And this fed income. He said, I'm not opening this until the jumper punch. So here we go. So I don't even know what's in it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's what we think of it. Signed, wow. sealed, and delivered. Okay, here we go. That's bullshit. That's not a real ink signature. That's off the fucking internet, you pricks. Look. It is too. All right, Mars is Minkiata. <laughs> so this is the first time you read this? I haven't read this. <laughs> well, let's go. Dear Marcello. Formal warning. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Ooh. <laughs> I'm writing in relation to a recent incident at round 17 Carlton vs Geelong match at the MCG. I've been notified by the AFL Integrity and Security Department that you were escorted from the ground by security (laughs) due to your (laughs) behaviour. The club's safety and integrity officer has called you and left a message with no response. Well, I can... Can confirm? 
Ah, fuck me, dead. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, I'm gonna have to say his name. Old mate Andrew Stark. Stark. You know who you are, Starky boy. Stark Enterprises. <laughs> I sent you a message, right? No one called me up until the two days. So well, let's go back. I'll revert. They called my brother. They said we have called Marcello. Now I can go back to my call log and people will say, oh, you deleted it. I didn't. You can go back through your history records at Carlton and see if you inputted my number and called me. You did it. So I had to do the hard work and I was expecting a call that day, which I never received. So I put an email, which I will put up. This was the Godfather email. It said to Andrew Stark or whoever. Yeah. Give me a call, please. Left me number and sign from myself. So now we'll continue this. So you didn't ring me, so that's a lie. Like your fucking club lies. <laughs> uh, we have spoken to your brother. Yes, I can confirm that. Future behaviour like this will potentially lead to a ban on attending AFL matches and being a Carlton member. Ooh. Fuck, I'm really scared. <laughs> as far as myself and the club is concerned... This incident is now closed and there is no further action required. Ah. Sure. Should we, should you wish to discuss this matter further, please contact myself, Daniel, I'm not going to say the last name, or Mr. Andrew Stark, which yeah. I've stated, safety and integrity officer at blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? I'm going to get fucked <laughs> because you're a bunch of liars, for starters. Liars. You've... Never contacted me. I've always had a fucking messenger to me. Always had a messenger. He can confirm. Correct. No one ever says, look, I've been kicked out three times at the footy. And I'll tell you this. One was because I broke a chair because of Levi Casbolt. This was probably five years ago. <laughs> Mr. 15 made a kick. Melbourne went down the other end and they kicked a goal. I did say to the, the police officer, he said, oh, why did you break the chair? And I said, put this in the notes. Levi fucking Casbolt. <laughs> <laughs> Second one was Melbourne again. Shit. Where we're getting absolutely pumped. This was the first game my girlfriend ever came to at the yeah. footy. Now, trying to impress her. No, I didn't. No, <laughs> that day I, I didn't say a word. I, I said one word. No, I'm I, saying you brought it to footy to impress oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. her. Footy, have a look at this. <laughs> got flogged. I get up and somebody made a mistake. I'm like, you dead shit <laughs> like that. I got kicked out for saying that. So Fair enough, say whatever, man, enough. whatever. Like, seriously, no warning, no nothing. Like, we're kicking you out. And your girlfriend's still saying My missus is like, so you got kicked out for that. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, she's like, I thought you were really tame. You didn't say anything the whole <laughs> match, anyway. Then we come to old mate Geelong, Carlton, and I get up out of my seat. Umpire, like, awful decision. I think it was Sam Walsh held on the wing yep. or whatever. And I stick my finger up. I'm like, that's shit like that or some shit like that. And I come in. We get kicked out. He got kicked out. I don't know that's why. That's the thing, man. My mate then got I got back out. in. He yeah. went on his way back no, in. Done nothing. Fraud. <laughs> and my <laughs> brother did it. No, no one did anything. I did. I stuck my finger up. And I said, I take full, full responsibility for my actions. Yeah. And I'm not regret. I'm not remorseful or whatever because it was warranted. Because now I'm in the city, <laughs> yeah, no, shocker. If I said something derogatory or I called somebody a C word, I could understand. Nah, this is just going But it's the way the that, that this club, and this, this is back to the club. What do they say? The club's safety and integrity officer has called you and left a message with no response. There was no fucking message lie. left. Lie, there man. was no call. And this is where I say it again and again, and it happens everywhere. Teague lies, the board lies, everyone, they're yep. all liars. Yep. They're liars. compulsive liars at this football club. Yep. But you did get a call back. I got a call back. <laughs> I got the call back and but I had after it. you. After I initiated it. Because you sent the message. That's I said, exactly they right. got the right number? <laughs> in the, in the I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. No, they don't well, have they the right number. The second time. Oh, but don't threaten me with a ban or shit like Come that. On. Because you can go get fucked with the whole lot of you yeah, at Carlton. Because <laughs> I love my football club. We all do. Yeah. It's not going to stop You us did have a anything. productive chat, though. I did have a uh, yeah. sorry, productive chat. We did get somewhere with it. Yeah. And he's like, look, I'm not going to ban you. Right, right. You know, I don't know if that's mumbo jumbo because that's all this club speaks about. But don't, I don't want to just, just, just tell me the truth. Why are you going to, why, why is it always going to be about fucking lies and shit? Nah, that's why I'm over this pub as well. So that's Mars's Minkyato of the oh, week. I'm okay. not going to harp on it any longer.
No, but no, yeah, I love so it. they can I shove you. I didn't know it said that. I actually didn't read. I didn't no, read no, that. You I didn't, said to me that you weren't going to read it. I wasn't going to open it. So, so you're lucky good. I haven't fucking burnt it on the <laughs> set yet. <laughs> Should <laughs> fucking joke. Oh well. Nah, anyway, go. Oh, well. Yeah, Start you, winning games. How right. about? How about? I ban you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to ban the Carlton Football Club because you are imposters pretending to be a footy side. All right. All right. Let's. Everyone's what do we got now? Segment. We're oh, going to no, go. No, no, just... and we, well, we're going to go into some more violence here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and watch a bit of Talking Blue with Rocco. Yeah, right? This is a good segment, this one. And this is the Battle of Britain. Mate. Let's <laughs> go into this. <laughs> Alright everybody now, welcome to another episode of Talking Blue with Rocco and Vince Lochisano. Great to uh, see you mate. Good to see you. Anyway, Here at the studios of the At the studio Pan. because they've locked us They've out, locked us down. But they won't keep us apart. <laughs> so never. we decided to come no, here. Now no, that's the, the song that uh, Port Adelaide uses, that's isn't right, it? That's never right. tear us apart. They never tear us apart. It's a good song. Good yeah, song. it is a good song. It is a good song. I shit, have, I have shit, been to the Adelaide shit, Oval. Shit club, but good song. <laughs> <laughs> I have been to the Adelaide Oval. Yeah. And I've got to tell you, it's a pretty special yeah, no, atmosphere well, when they sing that song. Look, at, if you uh, can get anyone to do something United, mm. it's always going to be special, you know? So that's one thing that we're yes. trying to do at yep. the Blues, get yep. everyone united. But anyway, there was. Uh, we're going to talk about a big, a big game, big day, big game. Yes, a big one in the history of the Cup football. It wasn't, club, it and wasn't, it wasn't even meant, for Premiership points. No, <laughs> and it wasn't even meant to be a big game. And that yeah. was, well, what was it? The Battle of Britain the in Battle 1987. Of Britain. That's what they did, the Battle of Britain. This yep. was very soon after we won the Premiership. Yep, so they organised these exhibition games. Uh, I think Sydney also did an exhibition game that year. They went somewhere else, but Carlton. And what in those days, I think they do exhibition game in Japan yeah so they were trying to do Japan Canada they were trying to do the thing and they were trying to like promote it but as Robert Wall said we're drinking beer today Um, (laughs) like they said uh, yeah an English beer it's warm it's I and Jack. No, I shouldn't I do that because they're not sponsoring. No, they're not sponsoring. <laughs> but if you want to, if you want to, yeah. So and so, what happened is we went out there, and as uh, Robert Wall said, yep. there was no need for this game. It was oh. unnecessary because we had won the premiership, and it was just it was just a, a, a holiday for us. Not you know what it was. You know what it was. It was an exhibition game set up by John Elliott, yeah. who at the time was the it was. It was director exactly. of Valdez I Excel and they just bought Courage uh, breweries in England. Yep. And I think that was part of the reason for 100%, the team going out. 100%. Mm. And they set it up with North Melbourne, mm. who had just been pounded oh, hard. Smashed. By by Hawthorne? No, by Melbourne. Oh, by Melbourne, that's right. In by 118 a, points. In an elimination final. So and guess what? Do you know that game that they got belted in? Guess which game they lost before that game? It was the last game of the season. Oh, that's right. It was too, guess the last who, game. guess who they lost to? They lost the car and to Carl. To us. Kernahan kicked Kernahan the goal. Kernahan kicked the goal after the, the siren. Goal Remember goal that one? So they were upset. Yeah, they were upset. And they were on a mission. Yeah. They were on a mission to they... have a bit of revenge against that's us. Right. Yeah. That's right. So we'll watch the vi- we'll watch the footage here. Hey, do you remember who the coach of North Melbourne was back then? Yeah, it was uh, Nordy or no. uh, Kennedy. The great John Kennedy yeah. Senior. Yeah, that's exactly right. God rest his soul. So let's put the video on. Yep. Let's put the video on. And as you can see here, <laughs> hey, they're already starting. They're drinking there. Oh, look, look at the cheer squad. I love the hairstyles in ah, the 80s. It's the best, man. Hey? The squad. That's, that, hey, that's, that, 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 that's and the here it version is. of the Bluebirds. That was the Bluebirds. <laughs> here it was. Here it was. They're starting. Oh, man. Mark Taylor. Back down. Yep. 
He's raised your Oh, eyes. And look Shanahan at and, St and Steve McCann on yeah, the bench. Yeah, Steve's premiership oh. captain is John O'Gleason coming in. Get him one. Love it. <laughs> look at this. He's where it started. The, that's the one that started it off when McDonald McDonald hit Reese Jones. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, straight in the face. <laughs> so they started here and that was it. Man. Oh, now what's his name? Oh, Clarkson hits it. That's, that's our future Mate. coach. Oh, the future coach has just pounded one of our players. I'll tell you what, Ian. Who's that? Ian. Who's that on the ground punching? That's Richard Dennis. Richard Dennis. Rocky. Him Rocky Dennis. Rocky Dennis. And he was a bit of a but Rocky look, there. Look, look at the state that Atkins in the poor bloke. He wrecked his he, career. He smashed off. his jaw. Mate, you know he's a premiership player. He was best first year player. Yeah. 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 And look at this. This is again looking at the footage and sticks, man. And this was just oh, going oh, all yeah. over the ground. I love Johnson, man. He never backed away from anything, Johnson. Jono. That that hit by Clarkson on Aiken yeah, right. absolutely just, knocked him out and smashed his jaw. It actually yeah. smashed it. Smashed like he jaw. never recovered. Look at from that him. bang! And that's when they were attacking then Clarkson. Yeah, yeah. And apparently, at half time, Walls was incensed. What did he and say? You know what he said? I don't want Clarkson to walk off yeah, the ground. Right? And he said, Righto, Buckley, Reese Jones. Yeah. Make well, sure, well, make sure he never gets off this ground. Right, if you look at it here, it just, and look at Mill Hannah's hair, mate. <laughs> this is before you decide to shave. Who's you that? Look, Who's that big bloke? That's Justin Madden. Justin Madden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Harry Man. Big Harry. And look at this. I tell you what. Look at this. Oh, oh, Donald McDonald. Like like this, like this. Look at Gleason oh. Bang. He gives him one. Oh, 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 at least Big Gleason went nah, after. Mate. Mate. Oh, Jono went after Clarkson. Oh, then, then Richard Dennis. There he is. I love it, man. I could watch this all day. This is the best, man. This Mark is Daly's in there. You know who also played in this game? Demetrio, I think. Oh, Demetrio. I think Demetrio was in this game. I could yeah. be wrong, but I think he was in the North Melbourne team back then. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, look, it was at the Oval. It was a lovely picture. It was at the Oval, nice exactly picture. right. It was at the Oval, so they were there just for a bit of partying, and this is what happened. They were meant to be there for partying, but I'll tell you what. After the game, Robert Walls got interviewed. He was livid. Yeah. He was... Uh, yeah, he said it wasn't worth it. And yeah. he gave the instructions to Buckley, right? Oh, yeah. And he said specifically... He makes Buckley, no secret of He this, said, right? listen, mate, he's not coming off. And Buckley reckons he come on at half time and he went straight up to, like, uh, Clarkson oh. and he started pounding him for about three or four Look minutes. Look at the state of his face nah, and his teeth. It. The blood coming no, out no, of his mouth. No, no, he his teeth. Oh, God. Wrecked his teeth. This is it. Shocking. Donald McDonald's yeah. copped a couple of Oh, he copped a couple. He's the one who started it. Yeah. He's the one who started He copped it. Oh. So, apparently, right, he's <laughs> told him, and he reckons he's pounding him for like three or four minutes, yeah? Mm. And then he reckons he got that tire from just pounding him, right? He went up to uh, David Reese Jones and he goes, You take over. <laughs> and so David Reese Jones took over. They reckon they chased Alice and Clarkson all, the whole season. The whole game. Half. I think they took him off in the end. Well. I've got a feeling they took him off. I don't. I reckon he made it to me the end, man. And he, and he kept like running around the goal umpire and, and trying to get away from everyone. But they gave him a bit of respect because uh, he stood up and he just he just kept copying kept it, you copying. know. So there you go. It was it makes you wonder whether John Kennedy himself instructed these boys or whether it came from of within the plane. Of course he did. You reckon? John Kennedy was an animal himself, man. <laughs> he <laughs> did, man. He wanted nothing but victory. He said... Oh, yeah. That's... He said that he went We're there. here to win. We're here to win. Absolutely. And they had to get redemption. And guess for... what? They actually did with the game. I know, so that was another thing. 13 like points. Did, for them, right? Who cares? You know? Well, Buckley reckoned. You know Buckley was sent over there earlier, right? Yeah. There's another story about, mate, that bloke used to be party on the back. Jimmy Buckley, a party on the No, would possibly think you want that. to come on? <laughs> hey, Dylan, mate, you listen, mate. Yeah, come on, Dylan. Here, mate. Hey, listen, he reckons nice he went there the day man. before, and that night they got absolutely wrecked, right? They did. And he wasn't supposed to play. No. So, six o'clock in the morning, they knock on his door and they go, Listen, someone's pulled out, you got to play. So, he goes, All right, no worries. And they really want I thought they were just going to have a nice yeah. little. He reckons run in he had to go and buy boots, so he went and bought soccer <laughs> boots, which were too heavy <laughs> for him. And then the reporter goes, How'd you go? And he goes, How'd you reckon I went? I stopped <laughs> drinking at six in the morning. So, yeah, they all got they all got on the beers and whatever that previous night, the night before the game. It was supposed to be just uh, a bit of so anyway, that was it, that was the Robert the, Walls basically said never again. Nah, never again. And, and that, I don't know, was there any more after that? What, the uh, exhibition game? Yeah. I don't think Carlton did nah, anymore. No, I don't think we did anymore. And anymore. after a premiership, like if you're gonna do an exhibition game, get like the second and second last, you know? Send them out there, you know? <laughs> you know, don't send. 
don't seem like a premiership team out there, you know. So <laughs> you know, if you look up this game on the um, Bluezeum website, which is full of fantastic yeah, yeah. Uh, stories about Carlton and all of the facts and. and Statistics that you could possibly hope for. And what's the best? Bluezeum.org. If uh, any Carlton supporters want to go into it, you can actually look this game up. I'm really interested to see here. The umpires were Ian Robinson and Gavin Dor, and the crowd. Guess what the crowd was? So they 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 say here they say crowd, and then guess what they write next to it? Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they write. They write drunk. Yeah, I was expecting a number of hey, people. Do you know what? I actually show up. The, the crowd got into a big brawl too onto the ground afterwards. Did they? Did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh so. dear. So anyway, anyway, it was a great. Uh, that was a good one. Great That was, was, that was thirty-four fun. years ago. Yeah, that's Unbelievable. Right. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, right. um, yeah. so that's it. So there you that, go. That uh, well, yeah, that was a very memorable game yeah, for right. a lot of the wrong right. reasons. But we love it. We love it, and I'm loving. Hopefully, that. you enjoyed watching some of the no, highlights. I love, I love the highlights. I'm loving that. Alice like the Clarkson's going to come there next year and 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 <laughs> pump the boys up to do it again. Eh? Rocco, Rocco, be careful. I'm just. I'm I'm still just got saying, a senior coach, mate. I'm just about eight. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyway, well, the time this goes to air, who knows what yeah, the situation no, that's will it, be. That's it. All right, guys, thank you very much. Love doing this. Thank you very much, Vince. Pleasure, Rob. We'll see you next time. Hopefully another trip down memory, memory lane very no, soon. No. Cheers. All right, how was that, hey? Big, man, man. That, I remember that too, I remember, man. like, the, I think it was it the coaches or Robert Walls or someone saying, you know, what, what a disgrace that was that we... Yeah. That we, you know, unveiled he AFL, it. that, you know, this is how we show it to the rest yeah, of the world. Yeah, he, yeah. he thought that it was never going to happen, you know. Right. Uh, it should never have happened, you know, like these matches. Because at the end of the day, you had the Premiership side, Carl, right? Correct. Going over there for a, just a junket, right? And then you had um, a team of North Melbourne who got smashed, right? right? And, as we stated in the video... We bet them in the last game, right, with a kick after the siren to Kernahan mm -hmm. to make it to the top of the ladder, right? So we smashed and They got smashed. They come over there. They got nothing to lose. Of course it was going to be yeah. that, you know? And it just ended up into this thing. And look, there you go. Like like I said in the video there, man, you know, you you just watched our future coach there just smack a few calm plays, and I hope when he gets there, that's what he's doing when he gets there the first what? day, man, starts smacking him around like that. So maybe not breaking jaws. No, nah, we don't. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's good. I love it. Hey, listen, while we're there, the buzz roast. Yes. Twenty seventh of August. Arrow at Swanson. Will it be on? Who knows? Well, we oh, don't know, but at the moment it's still on. You know, uh, everyone can see the the the. The posters. the posters there. So just remember, give us a call or call up. Uh, uh, you can email gmarch73 at yahoo.com.au for anything or us. or And then, hey, if you buy one of them, I'll get the buzz to ring you. How's that? There you get go. the buzz to ring you and Champion. then you can talk to him and get Fantastic. one of those posters. And yeah, just remember, 80 bucks includes two course meal, drinks, and we're going... Right, and we're going to be drinking with the boys, hey? Getting uh, us, Hunter Buzz. We're going to get tanked. Probably the yeah. Dominator. Yeah. Right, be, a big big night. Night. be a big night. Be a big night. All Looking right. Forward Looking forward to it. One, two, three. Market Cuts. <laughs> so the first one is, hey, listen, I know why Chris isn't playing that well. Why? He was at the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> An Italian Is runner. Italian? Was he a runner? Was he, was he a runner? No. I didn't know he was Italian. I believe on his birth certificate it was actually Patrizio. <laughs> which is your name. Oh. Yeah, Patrizio. Ah, he is there. Crepa. 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 Yeah, Crepa. Well, they won the, the Italian Crepa. Crepa, yeah. Crepa. <laughs> the Italians beat the Pommies as well in the yeah, running 400 four metres yeah. or whatever it was, yeah. yeah. Doing all right, the Italians at the Olympics. Yeah, doing all right. It's coming yeah. around, baby. Yeah. No, it's coming around. We're taking everything. All oh, the Italians are. Hey, there was another uh, girl who represented. I don't know who she represents. Well, this is. Um, but uh, ever everyone have a look at her. Oh this boy, is, how do you, it's a great sec. This is this is perfect. How do you say her name? Of uh, one of the dick. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Sorry, Ivana Dadic. Dadic. Ivana Dadic. Yeah, Ivana so, Dadic. Yeah, Why mate. we got that on there? 
Uh, you make of that what you will. She is yeah. gorgeous too. Yeah, she's she's the thing. And that was the first one actually. Sorry, the Cripper was sent by J V. Okay. They sent me that. So anyone else got stuff yeah, sent in for it? Get yes. it in. And the second one was sent we by like Carl Kavara. Yep. We Great like man. Great no, no, man. no. Get them in. Hey, we are uh, got a lookalike. Okay. Let's have a look at this man here. Everyone knows who this man is. Oh! Looks like the Grinch. We look like we got a new nickname, huh? The Grinch. I reckon he, he, yeah, well. Look at that, mate. Look at that. He does. He's got that. He looks like it. I like it. I like it. Well, mate, I thought he actually bought Christmas to that midfield just a second. He was actually pretty good. Ah, he's been all right. Hey, listen. Ex-player. Ex-player. Sent a message out to everybody. Oh, 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 oh. Benny boy. Benji Silvani. It's crushed, well, mate. It's, uh, Stay right. Now he has deleted that since. He has deleted it? <laughs> but we found it. We found it. And, uh, <laughs> We're going to show you. There it is. That's so, fantastic. Uh, ben still got a little bit of a sour taste. Yeah, I think he now, has. I think he has. That's okay. Th- it's all right. Number 37. Yeah. You know Harms, he gave him that number. He presented him the jumper. Yes. And he never played a game. Cursed. Mm. Yeah. Poor Harmsy. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen. Shit. Hey, listen. We have got. Ah, oh, you saw this. The car. Oh, the cuts of bay. Yes. Everyone now, have a look, have at, a look this. at this. Now, this was a number plate <laughs> that I saw the other day on a car, and uh, I think it was just reminiscent of what our coaches are doing. Fucking <laughs> cuts, cuts, cuts of bay. Oh. What the fuck are you doing? So, I, get cuts of I thought it was fantastic to Mate, sneak that into I this segment. It. I love it, I love it. Filthy Good car eyes. as well, Mazda oh, convertible. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Phil. Hey, listen. Oh, shit. The convertibles. Oh, man. I love the old cars, man. Yeah, I love the old cars. I love them all. Was it guy driving it? You know, it's a worse look, I'm going to say. Anyway. Anyone that's got a convertible. convertible and you're a, yeah. And you've got two guys in there. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> yeah. Something's wrong there, It's a, It's a like that, uh, not to say, oh, this is a stereotype. This is like, oh, it's that midlife crisis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but did you get your mate to sit next to you? Come on, mate. Usually it's two women in there and yeah. the, the hair's black. What if you do it, you get your, you get your missus to drive. Yeah. Right? But two guys do not drive around, mate, playing ABBA. No <laughs> way, mate. Anyway, oh, hey. ABBA. Murphy's coming up to a big thing, man. He is. Big, 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 big. And this and is you? when I used to... This is when I loved him. I used to love him. <laughs> Have a look at this photo, yeah, well, ladies and gentlemen. Totally. still do love him. Look at, look at you, mate. You're all happy. Yeah, the locks. Yeah, you're loving it. You're loving it, aren't you? Yeah. That loving was a long, long time ago, ladies and gentlemen. A long time ago. A long time ago. Footy goes quick. It does. It does. And other things go away quickly as well, just quietly, <laughs> but anyway. Hey, listen. There was an ad. Oh, God. Another ad. We're getting into the ads, aren't we? There's only one place you'll find our bakers at 3 a.m. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what? No. Yes, right here. Making your bread fresh every morning. You've been the Don in a in a baker's delight yeah, yeah. ad and all that. Now, have we got the still? Well, we'll put up the still. The, can we'll we put up the still, still image of this? this is it, I mean, look. Look at that. Hey, it's a good pick, Carl. That's, That's mean. Like now, did you win your years. hand? <laughs> did you win your poker hand? Yeah, no, no. Well, what happened? The whole ad was that the baker won the poker, oh. and he pulled apart, and we just said. Give us back that money, mate. So that's what the ad was. Yeah, yeah. So that was me. Yeah, yeah. Just so I had to, I had to put a tough photo in there because that the one of the bikini is. Uh, no well, okay, all right. I so need you want to like yeah, you need build to myself get your reputation manly, back up manly, to where yeah. it was was prior to the show. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Which was not that high to begin with, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's it. That's it. That's true. That's true. But anyway, there you go. So just uh, look, people been asking to see me in, in other stuff and that. All right. I have it. Anyway, your market cuts of the I week. put in that in. I just put them in. You know that. You come in there. We go, well, what do we got for market cuts? And I go, look, I got this and I got that. I got this of me. And they go, that's enough of you, mate. Hey, listen. We have got Paul's call. Oh, yeah. yeah. You didn't tell us what's going on. No, now. I haven't. Now, I, I'm not doing anything. Nothing to do with football this week because oh. I need to get out of the veil of football, out of that, and I need to get I need to get ready for the spring carnival. Oh, let's yeah. I need to lift the spirits, my spirits, Mars's spirits, everyone. So I thought, you know what? 
I'm going to call one of my favourite races of all time. Ah. It's the 2016 Cox Plate ah. of Winks. Now, oh. this is a winner. This is a winner. Oh. She is a winner. Her jockey is a winner. Champion. Champion. And the trainer Champion. is a winner as well. Oh, so, oh, now, oh. I just need to get prepared oh. because it was this a while my, ago. This is my favourite of a moment. Yeah. Probably so, my now, punch Mars, in life. How, now, for those people out there, do you want to divulge how much you actually had on this, uh, no, on this just, horse this year? I was just year? Bet, betting on, it, on her throughout the year, taking the 270, the 220s, and this and that. And then I had, we, we had a good day that day. To oh, start off, oh, enormous day. Awesome this day. This was well, one of the biggest $20 winners, Grand, Grand Marshal. Marshal. Oh, it was the biggest Mate, spring carnival I've ever had. Uh, what's it called? The Tony McAvoy thing at the start. Yeah, Azazel. 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 This was an what incredible it was a good day. It was a good day. An oh, incredible And I just had my whole day. account on her again, and just like, <laughs> So we ended up with about nearly a twenty grand. Oh, it was. It was. It was. Well, it, it funded the Japan trip that year yeah, as well. Everyone so bet responsibly. Yeah, bet responsibly. Gamble yeah. responsibly. Betdeluxe.com.au. Look, if you think there's a winner and you're confident, like just, just put the house on. Okay. <laughs> but so yes, the 2016 Cox Plate won by Winx. Are you gonna yeah, get here that, we go. Are you gonna get your hat and. Not yeah, well, I, yeah, why not? Nah, why not? 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 I've got to do it properly. I've got to do it, I have to do it properly, don't I? We want to relive this. Oh, man, we want to relive this. We want to ride that it. day. Absolutely. But so. that was an awesome spring for both of us. You must oh. have been riding. You cleaned Homer. up as well. Now, Mandan. You must have been riding in home. It's cash everywhere. I had it under the mattress. I was like this. Now, I will need to go up and back because the field is here and I need to remember who the runners are because... It was a long, it was a long time ago. Oh, this was back in 2016. So we, so we do. So about to get underway in the Cox Plate of 2016. Winx is our favourite. She goes up. They're ready. And they're off and racing in the Cox Plate. And Winx <laughs> jumped away well from the inside, as did Yankee Rose. Hartnell up there early as well with Black Heart Fart. Then came Awesome Rock. Vatamos back towards the inside as they come towards the finish post for the first time in the WS Cox Plate. It's Blackheart Bart, the old boy, leading it by three quarters of a length to Hartnell. Third, the outside was Awesome Rock, and then came Vatamos punching through on the rails as they raced towards the back section of the track. Then came Yankee Rose, followed by the favourite Winx. She's got the back of Hartnell. Then came Hauraki the Iraqi. They were followed by Lucia Valentina. And at the rear half of the field, there was Happy Trails. So they race to the 1400 metre mark, and it's Vatamos going to the lead from Blackheart Bart. They've set a very fast tempo out in front. Hartnell, the second favourite in third. Then came Awesome Rock, fourth the inner of Winks, who's fifth on the outside and Poise, the favourite. Followed by the three-year-old filly, Yankee Rose. Then came Lucia Valentina, improving her position. They were followed by Happy Clapper, Hauraki. And last of all was Happy Trails. It'd be about 15 lengths <laughs> top to bottom. They race to the 1,000 metre mark. And Vatamos, the French horse, has dashed clear towards the 800. Three lengths in front of Blackheart Bart. Then came Hartnell, Wink sliding up three and four deep on the outside. Then God. came Yankee Rose, followed by Awesome Rock. They were then followed by Happy Clapper, Lucia Valentina, Hauraki last of all. And then came Happy Trails at the uh, 600 metre mark. It's Vatamos being tackled in the lead by Blackheart Bart. And here comes Winks with Hartnell round the outside. Awesome Rock battling and then came Yankee Rose. Followed by Happy Clapper and forget the rest. But the great race is on. Here comes Winks round the outside of Hartnell. Bowman hasn't moved an inch. Now he asks for the favourite to go and she dashed clear into the straight. 250 metres to go. It's Winks in front by two, three lengths. Vatamos batting hard on the inside. Then came Hartnell, awesome rock, Yankee Rose. But Winks is up and gone. She's six, seven, eight lengths in front. She's a queen. She's a princess. She's incredible. She's Winks. Beer cups flying everywhere. And Winks wins the 2016 Cox Plate. It's two in a row for her. And she races into the history books. Winks, what a champion. What a legend. <laughs> that is what a fucking call. What a fucking call. Bravo. And I didn't need the, bilo- the binoculars. No, no, you could call. see him, eh? He stood out there, man. That was brilliant, man. Awesome call. You didn't miss a beat there, man. That was oh. superb. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's been dark. Mate. There you go. Oh, oh, man. That was absolutely superb, man. I was oh, riding man. that home, man. I felt like uh, you were there. Kramer in the inside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's awesome. Mate. That's Fantastic. one of your best, man. I love it. Thank you very much. Not rehearsed. And that is all well. off the bat. Again, off Not the rehearsed. bat. Not rehearsed. Off the bat. Here we go.
What a win! What a win! Woo! What a win! Well, that's, what a win. that's the one for the for the racing fans. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's it. So that's that'll it. get the the spirits. Lifted get the back spirits up. going. That's it. Oh, Let's shit. get the spirits going next week, Carlton. <laughs> <Where's everybody laughs> <going? laughs> oh no! What can we say? This will be ten goals. Nah, this, who knows what's going on here, man? Not not a chance in hell. I, I really I haven't looked into it. I don't know you what's don't going on. To. I don't want to know. We don't know when it is. Could this be the I've first game of the year top eight team? Yeah. No, oh, you're right. No way. Man. Right. I just wrote here, Carlton Port Adelaide dead rubber. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, man. That's it. That's this that's is, what that's what it's been for the last listen, know, however many years. I reckon this this match next week. It's a wanker. It's a wanker. Yeah, it's a Leo wanker. It's a Leo wanker. Yes, Leo wanker will attempt the impossible. Really Using big. brute strength alone, he'll yeah, prevent this high powered car from moving off. Everyone's riding on the back of the That is sick, man. That's yeah, a good well, one. Well, next week is um, big week. Yeah, it's not. It's not a big week. Pretty, and as I said, we Any we, we may have a we may have a caretaker coach wow. in I place. Know. I don't know. Why. Okay, no, it'll it'll likely be if a decision is made. I want Brett Stanford for the memes. I think it'll be Luke yeah, Power. We've got to have Brett Stanford. I think it'll be. Luke I, want Power. Brett Stanford. It'll be Luke I want Brett Stanford for banter, just to yeah, see him smile. Stanford, yeah. oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Anyway, everybody, Facebook. Instagram, TikTok, subscribe, like, press the like button. It's been good, man. They've, been, pump, to get they've been pumping the likes, man. Yeah, I love it. Share them. if you like. Yeah, you know, it goes up. As soon as they do it, it just goes. It starts to go up. I love it. I love it. Hey, in Facebook, we've got to 673. Instagram, we're on 371. So every week, just keeps growing. Keeps growing, keeps growing. So that's beautiful, beautiful. Yep. I love it, man. We love the support. We love the support. I'm it's telling fantastic. you, it's overwhelming. And we'll just keep on bringing out the content. Hey, Melbourne Coffee Roasting Company. Yep, Melbourne Coffee Roasting Co. Everyone get on, get on there, Promo buy code. some coffee. Carlton 15, Brandon Put some Medellin. Put in there. Yeah. They'll sort you out. Medellin is beautiful. Put the Medellin oh, in yep. the coffee. They'll sort you out. Uh, Marino Brothers or Marino Bros. Instagram, Marino Bros. Produce. Um, mate, we love them. Oh, huge. Hey, listen. We, we love them. Mate, and there's nothing like bad goes through. No. Man. When you get the product, it's the best. They've actually got one of these. Have a look at this, gonna man. Show. We're going to show it. Have a look at this, man. I've, I've, I've never seen this. Have a look at this. Look at the way it's oh, sorted out. That's, That's live footage. Oh, That's wow. Out. Look at it go. What, look, look at that. What man. is that? Look at it. Look, it's sorted out, mate. Look at that. All, all the green ones. Look at that. Bang, bang, bang. Hell. You know, you know we need one of them at Carlton. You just run the players through, sort through the <laughs> just crack. Kick, just kick but out the crack. How does it even do that? I don't know. I think man. it's got sensors. They told me it cost them about 300000 Wow. Well, no yeah. no bad shit's going no. through, mate. No. Everything is the best, mate. Look at this, man. I love this. Holy yeah, boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. Wow. So, yeah, make sure you get... Uh, Make sure you order the night before, 12 a.m. Yep. Next day delivery, straight to your door, $60 free shipping if you spend over that. That's it, man. So, bang. That's exactly what we want. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Marino Brothers. Everybody, stay on Blue Abroad Channel. Yes. I'm telling you, man, we all feel the same. We're all a family. We're all trying and, and all this therapy helps, you know. Check out all the shows, fan cams. They were big this week. Yeah. They'll be as they always are. Check them out. There's a few little surprises there I've, I really like. Melbourne, no, Melbourne, Monday Night Live, always a big show. Yes. Don't know who's going to be on this week, but I'm, I, I dare say it's going to be a big one. Monday Night, I dare say. We may, we may have an incoming announcement. The yes, announcement may have already be been made. So. Almost Blue Brothers, the podcast, the Saturday Live with uh, Riley. Riley, and, shout out to Riley as yeah, well. Yeah, he does a great job. Poor bloke was broken. Uh, and because then, then we got uh, also the live shows and then we've got uh, the Pommy live, uh, yeah. live. what's it called? Watch live Along. Game watch day. Along. Yeah. Watch, watch Along. along. And Pommy's if you watch, reports, the scouting reports. Yeah, you got all the scouting. You got Teddy's. Teddy's. 
Teddy. You got Terry's reviews. <laughs> but um, with Riley and uh, at the end of the watch along because I had it next to me, he was absolutely shattered. Poor kid. Shattered, poor kid, man. That's right. Poor we'll lift his spirits. And also, Pommy and I, we're, we're doing great things. Us three, us. We're yeah, gonna, yeah. And so always we're great check things. out Pommy's stuff, man. He's always up to date. Now, we're going to thank some people. I want to first of all thank Vincenzo School... School Otto. School Otto. School Otto. School Otto. School Otto. He'll know who it is. Loves the show. Thank you. And his son and his friend do the Pressure Point podcast. Ah, okay. Yes, the Pressure Point podcast. I'll listen to that. So everyone catch out that. There's Josh Tonini. He's keen on a cricket show. Josh Tony. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Josh as so well. So that might be on the cards. The, the Ashes, the Ashes yeah. Cricket Show. We also got Carlos Sanchez, Sanchez called yeah, this Sanchez. show the Sam Walsh Show. <laughs> I love it. Jesus. I love it, eh? There's also uh, Miggles. Not enough Italians in the side. That's our problem. Oh, yeah, I saw him. Yeah, yeah I saw him. I don't know. Italians in the side. And then there's also Blogan. Kale, C H A L E. Love the show. Tuesday nights can't come fast enough. Beautiful. And also, I had a. This was sent to me by a friend of mine who lives in Thailand. Right. Tony Gleaves. And he sent me this ad. And everyone can have a look at this. So, everyone can have a look at this. It's it's a. Toyota. Oh, it's a beautiful Hilux. Hilux. And you know, over there in Asia, they really know, they put big names to their cars. Yeah, they really is. So, they've just decided to call this car. That is. Oh, look at that. That is. The Rocco. That is. The Rocco. That is incredible. Now, that's not personalised. No, no, no. That's just what they've called it. The Hilux in Thailand is called the Rocco. The Rocco edition. Tough. Build tough. Tough. Can Reliable. We, can we stand anything? Can we stand anything? No, look at that. See, look at that. You're driving around with that on the back. Mate. How good is that? We'll be hanging out the side of we'll the back of the, the side. Side. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, we I mean, enjoyed it. What about you guys? You got one? Okay. Junior. Junior on Twitter. Junior Time, I think it is. He gave us a big shout out. You know, he said sort of thanks for, for everything you do. Yep. Terry and Pommy and the boys here. and. Yep. Thanks for, for getting us through these Loving. these uh, crappy times that we're yeah, going yeah. through with the football club at the moment, um, and that that's I mean that's the crux. There's of, heaps. There's that's heaps. what we're here for. Yeah. Right? We're not we're not that's here heaps. to. And look, as much as else. they enjoy it, I'm telling you, I enjoy it too, man. Correct. I enjoy doing this whole thing. Yeah. Yep. I give um to almost blue brothers. Yep. They always like always commenting, always having like back and forth. Yeah, yeah, like, always. Not always. always go to the um, to go to the Adrian, podcast. Nan- Nandapi, yeah, oh, he sent Andrew he sent Nandapi. something through. Yeah. He sent so, through the uh, Gorringe. Yeah, yeah, he sent the Gorringe. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually an yeah. old friend of mine. We went to the '95 Grand Final. Oh together. wow, she's winding so, back the clock. Yeah, we used to go after every game in those days. There, Princess Park Social we used Club. Used to go. No, yeah. we used to all meet. There was like six, seven, eight of us. We used to meet on the 50 meter line, okay. right? And we used to kick till it was dark. <laughs> That's cool. Always, there you always. go. It's a love it. Awesome. End. So there you go. And yeah, that's it. And that's it? Yep. All right. Big show, gents. Big show. Hope everyone feels better. Hope everyone feels better. Um, we'll be back next week. We'll be back next week. I'm sure there's going to be some, again, some um, big stories next week. Either be one way. Or, it's either going to be, I can't believe they won, or it's going to be, uh, they did it again. Yeah, you know? So who knows? If there is, hey, if there is a new coach, because at the end of the day, there is word that is going to be, you know, something might happen. If it does happen, Hey, chances are, you know what happens when there's a new coach? He'll be the coach for next year. No, well, yeah, he'll be the coach for next year. <laughs> but they usually, they usually like live. They win. They win, so, we'll find they so if they want to win, win, it'll be smart to do that. Anyway. anyway. All right, guys, thank you very much. Pleasure. Love it. Love it. Thank Pleasure. you, everybody. Go, Go lose. I'm blue. folks.